Alien, the role-playing game, an anthology. Special thanks to our sponsors, Free League and Roll20 for bringing this to life, as well as our channel sponsors, Die Hard Dice, Session Zero, and 1985 Games. Check the Twitch chat. All the codes and deals that you can get through these companies and more. And special thanks to Gehenna Gaming for allowing me and my crazy schemes once again take up time on this channel. I will warn you, the actual play that you are about to witness is uh, filled with violence, body horror, gore, language, and uh, depictions of extreme violence. I've mentioned violence twice because this is alien. Also language, because I'll definitely say the word fuck at least five times. Explicit language, just Explicit. not just I language. was like, there will indeed yeah. be there, there will language. be words. There will be words. <laughs> I, I think uh, rated R if anyone will. So th this is actually a pantomime game, fully fully charades. Only mime. <laughs> Only mime. Wait, now someone's going to make that a TTRPG if they haven't already. <laughs> I mean, good, I'm ready. It's charade, can you make a teacher? I, I guess, charades the RPG. Um, uh, but yes, this is rated R, and as uh, Tori said uh, in their message, it's rated R. That means we can say fuck. Uh, yeah! <laughs> but uh, before we get in, let me introduce my amazing cast today that's going to be going through the horror, as well as maybe uh, fighting through with a little bit of hope. Take us away. Uh, one, hope is overrated. Two, hello, uh, I am John or Ryamasa. Uh, I'll be do playing Cham today, who is a bit of a bit of a heavy lifter on this ship, is what we'll call him. Uh, I use he, they pronouns. Cham uses he, him pronouns. And I'm going to pass it on to... I don't know where you are in the over. No, you were right the first time. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Adelaide. Oh! Me, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Adelaide, also also known as Adelaide. Um, I, oh, Adelaide on Twitter. Uh, I am playing Wilson, our corporate agent. Hopefully not a bad guy. My pronouns are she, they. His pronouns are he, him. That's it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know who's next. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody. It's Tori. It's Tori. It's Tori. It's me. Hello, all. My name's Tori. I'm just thrilled to be here because this is the first time I've ever done a stream TTRPG. Oh, oh, oh. They've also We're... never watched Alien. Yeah. Oh, I've also never seen Alien. Yes, that's very important to note. I know it's about aliens and that there's a character with a cat. Um, <laughs> I'm playing like Kayla Rye, uh, who is very tired. She's just tired. Her pronouns are she, her, and my pronouns are they, them. And I'm going to pass it on to Brandon. Hi, I'm Brandon, a.k.a. Ashenworks. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. And for my character to get brutally murdered, as I expect to happen, from Nick. Uh, but uh, I'm playing, I'm he, him, and then I'm playing Leah Davis, who is our reckless pilot, and her pronouns are she, her. Awesome, and that just leaves me, the Game Mother, or what Alien, the RPG, calls the Game Master. Uh, my name is Nick, my pronouns are he, him, and you Opposite. Can... What? You said what Alien, the RPG, calls Game Master, but... It's oh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is what, yeah, what the Game Master is called in Alien, the RPG. Apologies. Uh, my name is Nick, my pronouns are he, him, and you can find me at an old man, Nick. Um, I'm the uh, production and marketing manager here at Gehenna Gaming. And I'm very excited to be here playing uh, what is quite possibly uh, my favorite system of all time. Special thanks to Free League and Roll20 with getting us set up with the awesome codes and everything um, to make this all a possibility, especially because we're going to be running everything through Roll20, including it has the starter set and the rule books. Uh, this is a cool experience, and I can literally just use all the maps that I would have had in my actual physical booklet. Uh, that being said, you could always buy Alien RPG. And uh, this is also going to be a pre-recorded session. During the live segments, though, uh, we may have some giveaways going on. So, ooh, uh, take notice. And, yes, yeah, support Free League and support Roll20 and support all our awesome sponsors because uh, they fucking deserve it. Now, with all that sponsor talk and introductions out of the way, are we ready to begin? Nope, yes. kill me. 
<laughs> not, not yet. Save me with your best shot. Not, not yet, Ferb. <laughs> Uh, I'm very excited to do that. So, good news is I've run this uh, scenario many times. Uh, the bad news is uh, it has never it, no. It's always been very varied about who survives. <laughs> the good news is he's run it many times. The bad news is he's run it many he's times. Run it many times. times. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's get started, right? We, as like the intro sequence starts up, we see the deep dark space it's quiet we hear the very low like John Williams a score coming in and we see a drifting ship approximately 334 meters across this is the UC the USC SS Montero and for its crew, this will be quite the tale to tell. So the first thing I like to do is read the blurb that lets me read. What's the story, Mother? Your space truckers on the Star Freighter USC SS Montero running the gauntlet. The trade route between Anchorport Station and the Frontier. Your ship's cargo hold is packed with dozens of tanks of dangerous Pridum gas that is in the process of decaying into the extremely profitable Helium-3. Usually cargo such as these are towed in massive tanker modules that transport much higher concentrations of the gas a safe distance from the freight hauler. The Montero isn't rated as a commercial towing vehicle. However, and this small run is a special order for a Weyland yutani corporate account on Sutter's world, a newly established foreign colony. While the trip so far has been fairly routine, Montero sensors developed a glitch before you left Anchor Point, sporadically ping contact with the sensor reflection before you activated the displacement drive and went to FTL. Your cargo run has so far been without incident. Now you are just awakening from hypersleep ready to deliver your goods to the colony of Sutter's world. And as we kind of go with that little, like, that text crawl across the screen, uh, we cut to the cryo chamber. It's that stark white with, like, the padding on the walls, uh, the central cryo kind of, like, uh, unit in the center uh, to these beds that are linked kind of across, like, in a circle. There are uh, six of them, although one's empty. Well, actually, no, one is not empty. Uh, there's one for each of the crew member, so the four of you and the captain, plus the crew's beloved cat. Oh, no. <laughs> Rest in pieces, cat. Yep. <laughs> Don't you dare. Uh, oh, a fun thing. Who owns the cat out of the four of you? I feel like Right. Yes, good. Yeah, that, that that vibe. good. You know the mechanic yeah. and the cat. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, then. Uh, another thing then is, what's uh the cat's name? All right, sorry for that hiccup. Uh, we see the kind of hypersleep. The chambers begin to rise as the thaw uh, starts to happen uh, fairly quickly. You can uh, feel yourself kind of starting to wake up. Uh, the way that this generally happens is that everyone's kind of sleeping and there's like standard issue, like white underwear, white t-shirts, whatever. Your kind of cotton clothing, that's not gonna go bad. It's actually probably would come, probably would be like whatever the polyester that doesn't freeze. And yeah, you hear uh, the good old kind of message of mother uh, speaking and ringing in your ear. Um, it's always kind of this unique little thing. The computer system, it talks to you. You know, it's not 
It's not the most human thing, but it's there. As you hear the voice go, Good morning, Captain Miller. Current date is December 13th, 2183. What is everyone doing as soon as they wake? Checking on the cat, probably. <laughs> the cat's fine. The cat, like, scurries off probably to go to the um, galley. I think Wilson kind of shakes himself awake, sloughs off whatever ectoplasm is still sticking to him, and after getting his bearing, he is straight to business. He, he grabs his glasses off of the, the nearby table and uh, picks up a tablet and is, is doing work almost immediately on it. Yeah, and you're, um, you can see you're loading up pretty easily using like that finger scan. Uh, you see your orders have come through. Everything, your, just your status report, all that, everything is looking quite nominal. Uh, the one thing that you probably all notice is that you're very much dehydrated from the long sleep. Yeah, Cham is just, like, <clears throat> stretching and looking around for a drink, because that's more important than getting anything done right now. Oh, yeah, I know. Captain Miller, like, uh, she rises, uh, Captain Vanessa Miller, and she's looking, and she's like, uh, all right, to the galley. Let's let's have some coffee before we start. Oh, uh, we need a, the checklist. The, the checklist can wait, Wilson. We can do it over coffee. Yes. How how many coffees exactly? Four. As as unless, three. As much as it takes to fucking wake me up. All right. He's just writing. He's writing, at, writing down on the, at, on the tablet. <laughs> at, that's six. That is six coffees for Cat Miller. <laughs> Usually, as espresso, all in one drink, uh, no cream. I don't. I don't think the machine will issue that, but uh, we can try. <sighs> but. <laughs> Davis is up doing the stretches, going through morning yeah. routine, and like. Has, has a little canteen, starts taking like the morning pills, and goes from there. All right, so you're all gathering into the galley. I'm assuming to have breakfast. And if you yeah. want to, you should. Be Rise, able to... just walking. <laughs> yeah, move yourself to the galley on the. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do. That. Yeah, you can just move your desk. No, hold on. Yeah, that's me. Ugh. As I ah. say, it's going to be the only one you can move. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. And the well, the galley's got that kind of off. Uh, circular uh, looking like area on it which is really nice um, it's kind of like the big round table with the light in the center and you can see there's all sort of like non-perishable foods like cereal instant coffee uh, and Miller's like the first one ready to make like a pot for everyone the coffee tastes like shit you know it's it's not like it is back home but you, you do what you can for this you do what you can stretches the cats having the food and yeah <laughs> the big stretch David, Davis is probably Thanks, splitting man. the pot of coffee oh yeah just like everyone's kind of having their little drink yeah cool. and it's all gonna stay nice and happy and nothing will go wrong yeah. Yeah, this, this yeah. is just a life simulator right <laughs> yeah it's fine uh, all right. Space Stardew Valley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to romance the doctor. Always. Okay. Good. <laughs> so we finally made it. Uh, Captain Miller goes kind of leaning back, sipping her coffee. Oh, my God. I can't believe six months in sleep for just for this. Uh. It doesn't feel like six months. Yeah. It's not supposed to. Okay. All right. Where's that checklist of yours? And Miller kind of holds her hand out. Um. Yeah. He'll he'll hand the tablet over, just kind of checking off things, you know, telling tal what's been used for the day, uh, and then closes out a few of the programs and hands it over. Oh my god. 
All right. She kind of glances down for a second, puts it down. All right, this is what we're going to do. Um, Davis, whenever you get ready, I need you on the bridge ASAP. I need Rye on the bridge as well. I'm going to need you to hail Sutter's ward for us. Let us get a landing confirmation so we can dock and drop off this Helium-3. Mm-hmm. Cham, check our systems, make sure everything's okay, and in the machine, make sure the engines and everything's still attached. I don't you got want, it. I don't want uh, us um, kind of de-docking. Oh, but I don't want us any issues. Wilson, um, just do whatever you fucking people do. <laughs> okay. Chugs the rest of her coffee. Yeah, and Davis is off to the bridge. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any place you need me to check first? Um, she would just have to. Uh, she's like, yeah, the the engines. Just make sure the engines are running all right. All right. Rai's like taking her time getting up, like giving the cat a scratch behind the ear, like really sipping her coffee extra slow. She does not want to be up and moving yet. Uh, you would also know, um. Just kind of checking in that you also something that everyone I'm just gonna play that knowledge now is that uh, this ship comes in two parts. There's a regular ship, which is uh, what you would know as the Montero, and then you also have Daisy, which is uh, the nickname for the kind of power loader shuttle that you usually use to offload stuff, but it also can be used as a ship in a bit. Hmm. So kind of move your way about to where you're going. Uh, Wilson, are you doing anything in particular? Uh, yeah, Wilson's gonna sit down in his little desk space, hop on the terminal, um, he's gonna check for any updates to, uh, our plans or anything from, from, um, headquarters. Yeah, I, as you're kind of checking in, you see the usual mail that you kind of started out with today and, and all that, um, something, you can kind of tell something doesn't seem, uh, right off the bat. The locational data seems off for where you're transmitting from, uh, but you're sure that's a bug, and you can, you're still getting the notifications of that ping. Re rephrase it. Notifications of of. Uh... Uh, the ping that you were getting on the sensors before you left, um, something that uh, Rai kind of reported before you all went into sleep. You mm -hmm. thought it was some ghost issue, and you were hoping kind of maybe it would settle while you were in that six month stretch but apparently it doesn't look like so uh yeah i think i think i'm assuming there's probably some kind of intercom system on our ship correct yes yeah, so that that's actually where rye is going right now uh I'm... yeah i'll i'll ping i'll ping uh rye and just um excuse me rye i i believe there's some misinterpreted data on on our systems can you okay I, uh, Re rerun the scanners the just yeah sure you'll, you'll, uh, you'll, know, you'll know what I'm talking about when you when you re run the scanners or something yeah fine just just some confusion on uh, on my uh, information and Shocking. I'll, send it, okay. I'll send it to you uh-huh. And uh and Ryan. I Adelaide doesn't know what she's talking about. This man don't know what he's talking about. No, that's that's perfectly fine. No, that's that's, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I was, uh, uh smell the sats. Right. Yeah, I was about to say I was at my old office. <laughs> right, you could you could hear uh mother be like uh I have pinged an approaching vessel. There it is, it's that ping again. From before the crowd sleep? Yeah, it's the it's the same one. Um are you running the re-diagnosis, as you said? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and give me a contact roll. First roll of the game. Ooh, first roll of the game! Oh, uh, dear. Right. Good thing I'm not doing that, because <laughs> I'm bad at it. No modifiers, right? Nope. All right, what do we get? Ooh! Oh, whoa. Ooh, two successes. Now, that was all your successes. Ooh. For this game. The whole yeah, game. That the whole was their game. first roll on stream. This is their first stream game, too. So. Oh! Yeah. Starting off, starting off the bang. Woo! Woo! 
as you uh, kind of go through the diagnosis, you're kind of typing through your keys. You're like, I don't know. Mm, yeah, and just like, <laughs> it's it's kind of coming through, and then uh, it's just gone. And the diagnosis says, um, must have been a sensor malfunction. That, that's about it. The same sensor malfunction. This ship's pretty old. You know Miller's been wanting to uh, upgrade for the longest yeah, time. Up, really. Not upgrade like we the can ship it. should really be our priority, definitely. Uh huh. All right, whatever. It's like it's... buying a new car. You use the same one until you can't anymore. Hmm. Oh well. I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. Is everything good with that ghost ping? I mean, it's there, but it. I think it's gone now. I don't know. All right, we can it's probably we, nothing. We can check everything when we dock. Uh, Hail Sutter's world, please. Sure, and I do. <laughs> yeah. Um. You press the button. How do you hail? You just go. You're just like Sutter's world. Sutter's world. Like giving. Her... Uh, <laughs> now I just go. This is the Montero to Sutter's world. Repeating, Montero to Sutter's world. You get nothing but silence. Uh, again, Montero, Sutter's world. Try, try a ten, ten, one, four, or something. I'll send you our contract code. Uh, you could mention that, and might uh, get someone to answer over there. Yeah, for sure. Hello, anybody? Sutter's world. I have no friends. <laughs> Um, Wilson, you can notice that, like, you're there, you can hear, everyone can hear, uh, Rye kind of going for Sutter's world, and there's no response. Are we sure we're on outgoing? <laughs> we are, this is, and the captain's like, what the, what the hell's going on? Are you muted? Sorry, continue. <laughs> Rye, Rye's just gonna look at Will, at, uh, the captain and be like, it's your ship. Oh my god. Um, uh, go ahead and give me another contact roll, Rye, please. Oh boy. Yeah, you're just yeah. getting all of them. Exciting. Oh. oh. What? <laughs> the duality of man. <laughs> you start bring, you start bringing up the maps, and you're like, not only do I have no idea where we are because I'm I can't read these maps that well right now, uh, but you cannot see Sutter's world anywhere near you where you're located. Great. We're not where we're supposed to be. W what do you mean we're not where we're supposed to be? This junkyard of a ship has put us nowhere near Sutter's world. And looks over to uh, Davis. You, you put the right coordinates in, right? I put in the ones you gave me. Sure you got them right, Captain? I mean, I was giving them by Wilson. Double double check these coordinates for me. All right, I'm sending them over. Uh, That's the responsibility. <laughs> down the line. Three people successively throw the next one <laughs> under the bus. One after the other. <laughs> great. Great. Um, yeah, no, he'll he'll open up the messages that uh, had been sent from a uh, headquarters originally with their with their, you know, our original destination, and um, he looks and uh. uh They've been they've been uh given us a new mis uh, a new mission. I'm not I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um uh and he opens up further emails and pulls up a PDF kind of document looking thing and reads over it. And um uh I think they might have changed our our course mid mid sleep. Um uh what do you, what do you see out there? Captain uh, but before I see anything or talk about anything, I want to know if we're getting paid more for this, not even telling us or asking us. Look, there's a there'll be we could discuss the bonus situation later. Let's figure out what the hell we are. Sure. I mean, if nobody's gonna take that helium three, uh, it's good for the soul. <laughs> it's good for the wallet. If no one wants it, don't, we're selling it. Don't huff the helium three, please. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> 
the directive it's giving us is um, we're looking for a, a missing ship. They say may, we may be in the area and, and might be able to help. A missing and like just kind of quickly and then uh, you hear Mother go, I picked up the distress call from an unknown ship. Yeah, Captain that would Miller. be the one. So they took us off our course in the middle of Prowsleep when we're supposed to go deliver some expensive shit to look for a missing ship. I, I still have directives for the drop-off. Uh, I believe they just detoured us here. We get the closest. We better be getting paid more for this. Now, this is not way more exciting. Assist anyone in help? This is this is bullshit. We shouldn't have to assi assist anyone, uh, Miller says. And then, Wilson, you kind of already know what you're about to respond with. And then all of a sudden, Mother responds for you. Wayland yutani policies dictate that all Wayland yutani vessels must investigate any distress calls. Disobeying this policy will result in forfeiting of your share. That, that is technically the rules, but also, I I don't understand why we're not willing to help. I mean, pizza no, sure, boring. Fine. Drop off to me. Let me. I I I got the 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 stress signal going on here. Um, I'm gonna play it. Uh, Wilson, um, get back up to the bridge. Cham, you too as well. How's everything looking down there? Uh, Cham, who has been blissfully ignorant of everything that has happened currently, <laughs> and has been mostly looking over engines. Um, I don't know. How does it look down here? Uh, pretty fine. There's the usual bells and whistles that have been in need of repair since you've left. Uh, but steam gauge is fine you check one of the valves it's blowing hot air into you and you're like yeah look we're looking good it's the same nuts and bolts that you left with gotcha well down here uh well gauge could use replacing valve is currently venting hot air into my face but i guess it's like a reasonable temperature so we're probably fine he's home i guess Fine, except for the fact that we're not where we're supposed to be and approaching. What is this now? We're not where we're supposed to be? Oh, they yeah. Welcome to the party, us. Sam. Yeah. Are we getting paid more for this? We're hoping. My question exactly. Yes. We'll send off a message. We could discuss the bonus situation letter. What? How, how many times do I... The... Oh, everyone, get up to the, to the bridge, please. Yeah, yeah, on my way. Fuck. What are you talking about? This is great. It's something different. All we do is drop offs day in, day out. Something different. I don't like giving up my, my life six months at a time, you know. I have family back home. Oh, come on, Miller. And, like, uh, yeah, you have family, but you're going to get a bonus out of this. We hope. Ah, uh, you will. Especially You'll talk salvage. to Wilson. It'll be fine. Well, you hear that, Wilson? You're you're uh, <sighs> you're in charge of all of it now. Uh, that would I I'm leaving that in in your hands. I am not the captain of the ship. Great. As far as payment arrangements, that can of course be discussed. All right. What the fuck is going on with this detour thing we're doing? Well, we got a distress call, and thanks to Wayland Yutani Company policy. We're not allowed to ignore said distress call. Eh, alright. I got the transmission here. Let's see what cut type we're going with. And, uh, she hits the play button, and in a very loud voice, you can hear, um, this is Albert Johns, and then, like, the scratch, and his second officer of the, of the U.S. Kronos. We, we, help, help. Corner, trip, trip, bring guns, bring colonial marines, bring... Bring everyone. Oh, this is very far out of our pay grade. They didn't send me any details. They, uh, uh, Captain, how many guns do we just have lying around anyway? Because I assume the answer is like two, maybe. What? What did they? What did they say though? It was uh, something that needs colonial marines, which we are not. Run. Uh, Kronos? Kronos? Kronos or something. Uh, hold on. Kronos. Kronos. That kid. Just, um, give me a second. I'm gonna go talk to Mother real quick, and she, 
uh, leads down the personal captain's hallway into the, the mother uh, systems for the computer. Where are the guns anyway? <laughs> uh, you would know the guns are in the uh, the kind of like mini armory downstairs. Oh, great. I'm going to go down to the mini armory. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to follow Chan. I'm keeping I'm gonna attach to attach guns to my arm. Bring me back one. He said bring all the guns, so I'm going to bring at least one. <laughs> <laughs> bring me back one. Yeah, I got you. You want like a big one or a small one? Uh, whatever. Where'd I go? Oh, I moved uh, people to the where the guns would be. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so you do indeed have weapons. Okay, great. <laughs> I love that for us. That's comforting. <laughs> that helps us a little bit. Me and my ranged combat of zero are real happy about this. All right, give that to me. I got I got a two. Here, uh, give me one second. I'm actually going to I out. also have a zero. Great. I get the sense where cannon fodder, John. <laughs> wow, really? Who would have? Mm, I don't know about that one. Don't say that. Oh, no. You're not, you're not cannon fodder, I swear. Okay. Te technically, I have a seven. If you add agility, I have a seven. Damn, I do not. Ha I have like a three total. I am all agility. <laughs> I mean, good. It'll, it'll be fine. I swear. No, no one's. We're all good. We're all good people. We're all good. Yeah, this I, is sci-fi Stardew. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're fine. All right. So, do you want a um? Uh, you want a tally of all the kind of equipment that you have? Uh, that would be lovely, actually. Okay, get your little. Does one of them down. include a P five thousand by any chance? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna we laugh too because I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's the it's the power loader exoskeleton thing you see Ripley in all the time. Oh, okay. No, you. Well, wait a minute, actually. Um, oh. I'm gonna oh, give I was like, so I'm going to give you some information about the Montero that you would know. So the Montero okay. is the same series of Star Freighter, um, specifically as the Nostromo was. Okay. If anyone's seen the alien movie, the Nostromo is the ship they start out on. Um, the most important distinction is the Montero has a little bit of lesser engines than the, or not the Nostromo, the Montero has less, uh, lesser rate engines than Nostromo did. And as such, she's not fitted for a commercial tug. Uh, but she is committed to all cargo like you're doing internally, like a standard freighter. So your cargo is actually attached to you, like inside the ship, rather than uh, what the Nostromo was doing, which was actually just uh, like hauling the whole thing behind them. Um, so currently the bay is currently full of that 72 high pressure tanks, of 72 high pressure tanks carrying 200,000 tons of that highly flammable Trident. That's slowly trying to break down to that helium three, which will be used to stealth. Uh, each tank is the half the size of the tanker trailer, and as you kind of Rye and Cham you're overlooking and going across the bridge, like the little metal bridges across it, you can see those tankers. Uh, you know that the gas is still pretty flammable on this at this point, so very much advised. Um, but like you said, you have the Daisy, which is the flatbed cargo lifter. Uh, which is kind of like it's the and the Montero also has that passageway umbilical that you can use. That's the kind of outright of the ship. Now it's time for the gear. Uh, so right now I'm gonna let you do the gear. You have five compression suits, full air supplies, one motion tracker. Why would we need that? Yeah, one cutting torch. No, Always terrifying to use in the video game, by the way. Terrifying. Yeah. Yep. You usually to occasionally find um, what's your cat's name again? Uh, barley. 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 Yeah. Yeah, you use it to find barley mostly. <laughs> when barley gets uh into places, <laughs> uh, so you get one tiny cutting torch. You have one uh, uh, Watasumi bolt gun. Your standard engineering equipment. Uh, for defense, you have a service pistol, an M four A three. Wait, just one? Just one. Great! A, uh, one space sub harpoon grappling gun. That sounds dope. <laughs> and... Sorry, space sub or subspace? Space sub. Okay, cool. And a, um, 
M two M two four zero incinerator unit. And last but certainly not least, the piece of resistance, a P five thousand power loader. Yeah. Which Fuck can yeah. really only be used in the ship. <laughs> uh, well. That's out. <laughs> we'll need that when we escape back here. <laughs> and inevitably, something follows us. Yep. Yeah. What are you talking about? This is just a routine mission. Space there was starting. nothing routine about this. They woke us up early. <laughs> yeah, it was literally, literally. It started off being a non-routine mission when they sent us in a different direction. So, are you actually like bringing all the gear up with you, like over the? Uh, I'm gonna bring. <sighs> yeah, act... well, I mean, we've got a power loader, so I'm just gonna put it in a box and carry the whole box up. Okay, so. And I take the gun. You want the gun specifically? Cool. I'm gonna. I'm you gonna... ever? Hey, you ever uh, used one of those things? No, but if they said bring gun, I want to be the one with yeah, the gun. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we give the gun to the one you can actually shoot? Yeah. Uh, I I don't it. know if we're authorized to use this. This is close is to it on the five. Ship? It's close to five thousand dollars every two hours. Right. Yeah, but is it on the ship? In case and, of emergencies. Right, and then I assume somewhere in the company policy it says something like, uh, when you are attending to a distress call, please use whatever resources are necessary in order to fix the problem so that you don't, you don't have to deal with it later. Mm -hmm. This is on the ship, ergo, it's a solution to a problem that I have just now invented. Namely, do you want to carry all this? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> that is how it sounds. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Great. Love it. <laughs> and as you're walking, I'm talking to you like, do I really have to give this gun to Davis? No one needs nope. a gun yet. You hear kind of over the intercoms. Hold on, my headphones unplug themselves. I can't hear shit. One moment. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm very quiet. Oh no. No one. Oh no, Cham's dead. <laughs> not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh god, all of that's all. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. All right. Uh, so I we? said, do I really have to give this gun to Davis? Look, I mean, if you can't shoot, then pick something that's bigger and will hit easier. And the, the pistol ain't it. Yes. Also, if you do that, don't shoot it in the ship near anything. Uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> the whole damn ship is flammable. I mean, Hopefully they're accurate right flammable. now. I mean, we have a gas leak, so. Well. Yeah, don't shoot it near the engines or the stuff we're transporting or any of the instruments in the bridge or anywhere, really. You can shoot the instant coffee maker, though. Maybe we can get a new one. Ah, ah, you think they'll give us a new one? That's funny. And then I hand the gun to Davis. Oh, thank you. Great. And then I pick something else out of the bin. Uh, well, you've got a bolt gun, a grappling gun, and a flamethrower. Hey, Davis. <laughs> oh. yeah. Warning, foreign body detected. Danger uh, imminent. Brace for collision. Oh, that hits Warning. brakes. <laughs> As you hear the klaxon begin to roar because the Comtex was not looking at their... Uh, at nope. the radar. Um, Comtech went to go get guns. <laughs> Comtech, let's go. As you're braced for collision, braced for collision. Uh, go ahead and give me a piloting check at a negative two. Oh, no. Oh, oh as, boy. As, like, you're all having this, I imagine, like, Davis has turned around talking, and then you yep. hear you hear the klaxons. Oh, no. Oh, I no. I succeeded. You got a success. Yeah. What? Solid. Solid. You duh. slam the brakes and manage to swerve as you feel the whole ship begin to rock. Um, Cham, you Don't feel hit the helium. The, Don't hit the helium. You feel as you're you're not in the helium tank where you're getting everything to the bottom of the ladder so that everyone can easily like hand stuff through. As you feel the power loader shift for a second, and you almost go completely over. But manage to regain your balance as it swerves back. Once Ooh. once everyone regains their balance, Rai's going to go. In my defense, didn't think we would keep going full steam ahead when we were heading towards a distress call. To be fair, I slowed down. It just wasn't enough. <laughs> uh, as you oh, manage God. to, the thrusters kind of like go and you're, 
and you just see complete blackness. What? What yeah. were we even gonna hit? I will. I will look at my screens and figure out what we were gonna hit. <sighs> you could see why. Um, something is in front of you. Completely deaded by the looks of it. That's why it's not giving off any ping, any radar. Uh, you couldn't even identify what this was until you're up closer now. As you can see, this giant foreign object in front of you. But it's kind of like an outline. So you know you have black on black. You can kind of see the shape. That's yeah. about it. Uh, and Miller kind of like leaves. What the hell just happened? What the fuck is that? Yeah, we almost ran drifted. into whatever the fuck that was. Davis, hit the floodlights. Ding. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> and as you uh kind of see the um, and we hear like the heavenly chorus come in the oh the opening track starts yeah up it starts yeah, up yeah. again as it as you kind of like all um you realize in front of you is a derelict ship without any running lights or beacons as you kind of look uh, in awe for a second as this ghost ship just illuminated uh, onto your kind of forward presence. Well, well the stress signal. Yeah, it didn't send any specifications. That's, um, it's a big ship. Um, and what? much, yeah, much bigger than the ship that you're on. And on the side of it, you see something. And you that name Kronos kind of appeared familiar to you in the transmission. But then you see it. It is the USCSS Chrono. A Wayland Utani SCV M3 Hades class spacecraft. Not only that, it's it's big and it's something out of the history books. Because you all know the story of this. It launched in 2110, uh, and it's pretty much been missing for about 70 years. Seventy seven zero. Yes. This it is something they teach that you find in like classes out, like they teach you in like flight school. Yeah, you know, right. you know, find when that when that transmission was last sent. Uh, yeah. Fucking hell. See, they taught me not to drive like that guy. Whoever the pilot was for this ship, he was bad at his job. Or did his job and outsmarted by something else. Okay. Yeah, let me look and see when this transmission was sent. <laughs> uh, it's a repeating SOS signal that has been repeating for the last 70 years. Holy shit. True. I want to know how they knew that we were getting near it. I, I think they just sent out a beacon and... No, the company. How'd the company know we were getting near this thing? Well, the company... I... I'm sorry. I, I, what I want to know is the company didn't specifically say it was the Kronos. The company uh... said it was just a stress signal on its policy to... Oh, okay. It's still weird that no one's found this thing for 70 years and it's been given off by SOS. It'd be different it's if... been right here. Yeah. A beacon must have just passed it by. You are in deep space right now. You are on the frontier. That's true. And does does no one ever do this route that we're doing? Not that they don't do it, but I mean, like, it's deep space, so very rarely. Right. Like, you could be, you know, a couple light years adjacent to it, and you wouldn't pick it up. Well, if it's been out here for 70 years, I really don't think we need to save anybody. Oh, they could be back in cryo, like we were. Could be in cryo. I mean, could figure out what happened to them. Is yeah. the USCSS the same, the, the company name? Like, we're under the same company umbrella? Um, or is that like a, like our uh, region? That's like a region. Action. That's a region okay. thing. But you would know that the Kronos is a Wayland. Uh, it vessel. is a Wayland ship. Okay. Yeah, okay. not even Wayland Utani. It is a Wayland ship. Okay. Really yeah, um, old. yeah, I, I mean, even, old. even 70 year old tech, our ships are fully updated with 
with the latest, I... From 70 years ago. Fine. There hasn't been that many advances in cryotechnology over the past 70 years. So this ship's very important to the company, is what you're saying? I don't know much about it. I'm... This was my first Look at the captain and be like, do you think the ship's very important to the company? Uh, this... The captain would tell you that... Yeah, this is a... A payday. We get salvaging rights on it. We bring back anything. We... If we, if we just confirm the stress signal, that's a bonus. If we bring back the whole ship, that's a huge payday. We could yeah, get a new we... ship. We could get we could get vacation, retire. Okay, let's. All right, well, let's, I'm game. Let's go. Let's damp our expectations a little bit. But like, why don't we? Um, why don't we send something off to corpse that they know we found it, so we can already just tick that box on money making he's just typing away great Sent. we should no. have a response back in a few days you yeah. definitely can't tow this thing I don't know I'm not sure if it's gonna fly uh, our instructions here are to potentially rehabilitate it get them back on their feet oh <sighs> It seems like it's salvageable, at least by Wayland standards. It's completely dark. I wouldn't know anything about that. Low power? Would I know anything about that? <laughs> Feels like I might. Yeah, or me. Maybe. <laughs> and Maybe. I, at this, it's like, this vessel is the source of the distress signal. Vessel identified as USCS as Kronos vessel has been missing for 73 years. Yeah. Um, Company policy mandates operational salvage if possible. Yeah, more importantly, uh, they've been sending a distress signal for 73 years and just now they've found it. Or Again, more importantly, be, it's still on. Yeah, we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, do you want to run a? You can if you got inside, you could probably run a check of everything that's online in there. Uh, yeah, but then I'd have to go in though. <laughs> fine. Can I? Can <laughs> I? Fun. Would I know anything by just looking at this very dark, no lights on ship? Anything about like, would it even be possible for the cryo to still be on? Or yeah. So what they could, you know, for a fact that if they turned off literally everything and had all power just rerouted to life support, mm -hmm. they could technically survive in that ship for, like, a couple hundred years. What that does to the body after a certain while is, is a kind of, like, gets to be more dangerous. But it's very... It's it's possible that they're still alive. It's, okay. it's also possible that they're not. <laughs> So uh, are we all heading in, or just a couple of us, or? I mean, I got the gun. Captain uh, Captain Miller kind of takes a step and goes, Mother? Yes, Captain Miller. What are our priorities? Priority one, recover scientific data and samples from Kronos. Priority two, escort the salvaged Kronos to Anchorhead or another Wayland yutani facility. Priority three, save crew members of the Kronos. Love, love the people or the third one. <laughs> that really does just track, don't it? Yeah. I mean, for all this talk about now caring about people, all you seemed to care about was the paycheck, but I digress. I mean, I was on the people's side, but sure. Uh... No, I'm just, I think it's funny that the company's views so well align with my own in this situation. Anyway. All right, so we got to go find science and then bring this thing back, right? At least the tips, too. Oh, all right. So, Wilson, you would actually know that you, it's very possible that you can pull up the floor plants for the fight, uh, spot as well. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I guess it would probably be, like, in logs of, like... Oh, yeah, and you're, and yeah, you're sure. easily able to. And Mother even tells you, it's just like... Agent Mill... Uh, not Agent Mill. Uh, Agent Wilson... I provided you with floor pants for the Kronos, like in just that instant second as you just requested. Yep. Can I also get a list of uh, 
crew on board? Um, that or like, ori like original crew, not like current. Yeah, crew. you get a very long list mm -hmm. of yeah. like thirty or so people. Okay. Um, uh, lots of scientists. Like, like sort them essentially of like like priority essentially like the yeah. captain. Yeah. So the captain of the ship you would know is a Captain Eric Strauss. Hmm. What about the guy who sent the distress signal? Uh, that was a he said he's I believe he said his name was Johns. Uh, and Johns was the uh, the kind of like first mate. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if we're gonna do this, let's just do it, shall we? Yeah. Waste some time. All right. So I'm you're... gonna grab the bolt gun. So you're all okay. getting ready. So you're all like divvying up the equipment. Okay. So specifically, uh, starting with who's getting what, uh, uh, Cham, since you're dividing everything, who's getting what? Well, Davis has the pistol. Okay, give me one um, second. I'm going to be given. He has the MA3 service pistol? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cool. You can see that is now in your. Davis, that is now in your um, journal. Yep, nice. that's a gun. <laughs> All right. That's a gun. Um, and then I think just now Rai took the bolt gun. Yep. The. I don't know if we have if I have the uh, the space sub, the harpoon. Uh no, I the, there was a bolt gun. The Watasumi. Oh there we go. Boom, found it. I got you. Alright, it's this is awesome. I, another thing I rolled twenty. I have like literally all the weapons here so I can just give them mm -hmm. to people. Nice. Um so And then uh, I guess Cham will like kinda look over and go, hey, um Wilson, you want anything? Uh do we have anything for medical assistance? Uh, I've got a torch and a compression <laughs> so not really no. We've got so a med bay. Literally, we've like got no first aid kits on board. I mean, like they're oh. probably in the med lab. Yeah, I general went, so... in the med lab. Okay, yeah, I think. Um, I'm not sure what he would take. Um, give him something ranged because he's. I've got a. I've got a point in ranged <laughs> combat. Cool. Um, You've got the choices between a harpoon gun and a flamethrower. <laughs> That's what we've got left. Probably the How harpoon. Yeah, let's let's do a harpoon gun. Why not? I can attach it to my back probably. So great. Uh, but yeah, gonna... he's gonna head to the med lab and kind of like gather up like the actual get a first aid <laughs> kit worth of stuff. <laughs> Smart. So, uh, off the checklist. I have I'm going in with the incinerator aid. because you know. Wait, you, well, you gotta, you gotta. Cham, are it's you taking there. the incinerator or are you leaving that on the ship? Oh, I'm taking that. I'm mounting that onto the P5000. <laughs> Okay, well, so I, you're not going to be able to take the P5000 outside when you dock. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to carry the incinerator to the airlock. I'm just going to carry it in the loader and then leave it there okay. and take it off and come and go in. Like, so if you, I can avoid carrying the flamethrower all the way down there, I'm going to do that first. Routine mission, load up the incinerator, Hi. lads. <laughs> yeah. Well, it said bring all the guns, so I'm bringing as many gun as possible. That's true. That's, they, that's true. They, they did say that in the. They did call for gun. They did yeah. call for gun. I do. I do have a plus two to to medical aid, so or a, a two. Great. I do not. Two, a two no, score. I have a plus one. Okay, so I will also take a med pack if you're bringing them back. So these uh, the incinerator unit isn't as big as you might think it is. A champ. Oh, okay. It's it's literally like a rifle with a tank attached to it. It's oh okay. Yeah, so it's cool. all, it's like cool. all right. So like. It's, it's what Ripley has door. it in the uh, in the first two movies, actually. Yeah, sure. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Well, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. I mean, I will do that. But like, I want to. I want to keep the loader nearby the door in case we need to do weird shit. Oh yeah, no worries. Why would we need to do weird shit? No, because I don't want to have to pick stuff Why? up if the science is heavy. You know, like. Mm. <laughs> we gotta find one whole science. I gotta find one whole science. If we found I two do not science, have points that's two science, money. So. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we could trade two science for two money. There you go. This is now sci-fi civilization instead of Tardew. Tar <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. So you're, is there anything you would like to do before we go through the sequence of attempting to board the Kronos? No. Can we get Can we get those med packs? If there's med yeah. packs. If there's med packs. Yeah, yeah. You can get the basic medical supply. Sure. Okay. 
uh, just running down checklists. Like, He's just got it, safety checklists out the wazoo. So, yeah. <laughs> is the Cronus like tilting? Is like lilting to one side? Is it turning? Like, so or that is, is just, yeah. That is a great question because uh, in order to match the orientation, the ship and the speed and the course, our pilot's gonna have to make us a roll. Yep. I yep. fucking knew it. And then yeah. we all blow up. <laughs> oh well, there we go. Okay. So make me a piloting right. roll, Davis. Piloting, no mods. Yep. Ooh. Success. Wow. Hey. Uh, that's good. That's good stuff. I just can't shake the feeling that we're blowing all our good rolls. Uh, yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, you end up pulling uh, just the wrong side of it. Now you know that the, all of you know there's two ways you can do this. Um, you could have someone attempt to uh, actually just bridge the uh, umbilical extension and, tr and try to do what's called just like a free freeboard um, and just like try to attach it and then go ahead and have a, st a stable board. Or uh, you could spacewalk it. And have someone manually get the tether. That seems unsafe. I'm driving, so y'all have fun. <laughs> uh, I think aim. I think aiming the umbilical is my best move, unless somebody wants to do a maneuver. Does anyone want to go, go up? Spacewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Easy way to lose a character. <laughs> I've seen enough sci-fi to know how that ends. <laughs> Might not have seen Alien, but I've seen some sci-fi. Adelaide, you're muted. Motherfucker. Okay, so if one of you goes, <laughs> you'll be fine. It's gonna be tense, but you'll be okay. If two people go for an airwalk, one of you's gonna die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Uh, so anyway- Always space would... walk alone. That's the, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> Always jump out of your ship by yourself. Um, <laughs> yes. I will. I'm gonna fire over the tunnel because if we've got to bring stuff back and like do medical crap, I don't want to have to spacewalk people back across the void into the ship. That's a pain in the ass. Okay. So yeah. So you, so you want to do the uh, umbilical? All right. Give me a heavy machinery roll. That one I'm theoretically good at. Knock on wood. Okay. I'm sure making a direct tube from this ship to our ship is good and smart and safe. <laughs> well, we can't fit a P5000 on it, so... It's true. We can't. Yeah, no, no. All right, sure. I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, failure! Oh! Ah! So, you have an option here. Do you let the okay. failure go through, or do you like to push? Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna push it. All right, uh, re-roll the entire thing. So, we'll take one stress, stress and yeah. try that again. And remember to roll your stress die after that as well. Uh, Actually, it should automatically roll the stress. I was going to say, doesn't it, should. it shouldn't it just do that? Okay. Yeah, it should we'll automatically do it. Fingers crossed. Whoop. Got hey, one. There we go. There it is. You got two successes, one on your stress thigh. Uh, yeah, Cham, you're feeling the pain a bit, the pressure a little bit. Mm -hmm. As you start just sweating, you know, you're, the whole situation, this is kind of a lot. You don't, yep. like you said before, you don't really want to do this. Yep. Per se, you kind of just want to go home, but then the brakes. That's what yeah, happens the, in this area. The umbilical, like, you just do like, and then it just dunks into the wall next to it, like, fuck. And then, you got this, Jim. You got this. Uh, as you watch, as it, and it's like tense, and we're getting close, and finally you hear the. Docking successful. Good save. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. So the umbilical is like an open, like space umbilical, though. So you are, if you're going to cross into the Chronos, you are going to need your uh, suits. Yep. Okay. Luckily, I brought those with us. The the con containment suits with the oxygen. Suits. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Compression yeah. suit. Mm -hmm. Compression. Not decompression. Jesus. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do you want to leave anyone behind to monitor stuff? Like, specific, oh, specifically, probably maybe the captain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's my safe. my that's only fine. friend, sure. Yeah, I want date like. And the cat. The cat Listen, okay, you can't mate. complain about only having one friend. <laughs> <laughs> I have none. <laughs> 
I have a wife and kids. They haven't spoken to me in six months. <laughs> oh boy. Oof. Oh. Ooh, big sad. <laughs> big sad. Not because they don't love me. <laughs> I was to say, they haven't spoken to me in six months. I've been crying for six months. They love me very much. <laughs> I have a very healthy family life. <laughs> We're getting all the work, laughs. My work yeah. life balance I say, is it's fine. Now. Wilson has a great family life. Oh, he's a no. he's a good dad. Yeah. <laughs> that will make this more Y'all are assholes. Oh no. <laughs> so you kind of you begin suiting up with the compression suits. It's like if you ever seen Alien, it's like just basically like kind of like like astronaut looking suits with maybe a bigger helmet. Mm-hmm. And you kind of hear that shoot as you're sealed in and you begin the walk uh, across and you all have radios so you can talk to each other across that long range kind of like what this is looking now oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that microphone quality that's that's good that's what you're hearing yeah, great right. cool. great wonderful i don't know it's alien i feel like it'd be older and have some more static to it <laughs> hey uh Everything okay out there? As you as you're kind of starting to come online and uh, cross the uh, long stretch of space, the Kronos. Yeah, don't forget to feed barley. Yeah, I think I think he went and hid somewhere. Should Smart be fine. Chat. I've got a space wedgie. Over. Keep the comms. Clear cl cl clutter. Come on, Davis. I don't need to stay focused. This could be our big payday, right, Wilson? Uh, uh, sure. I still haven't received word on that, but that again, that will take a few days. Uh, we are in deep space, so please don't take out your aggression on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, you could find getting to the uh, the main airlock. Uh, it's pretty damaged. What kind of damage? Uh, looks like that this whole ship. Bra look, yeah, looks like uh, you're not sure that um once it closes, you like it looks like it's got some sort of malfunction on it. Oh, like it's been. Like locked or something yeah like it's been damaged a lot you probably could hmm. like someone busted it like busted through it not necessarily you just think you might have to seal it up once you're inside if you want to actually get the air going so currently the entire ship is depressurized no 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 it's still pressurized okay oh yeah. uh but it looks like the airlock is on it's like kind of left like okay oh yeah this is already going so great cool yeah that's unfortunate Well, the gang gets sucked out into space. <laughs> <laughs> be Who fine. is leading the charge? Davis. Yes, okay. that seems to track. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and gather everyone. So excited. Miller. We're going to. Adventure. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... New ship map. <laughs> New ship map. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Oh, boy. Make sure everything. Oh, uh, and the good thing is you could see the maps because you have the you have the plans. Yeah, I I'll, 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 I'll like download them on my, my tablet or whatever. I, I imagine you have like a Pip Boy. Apple Watch. Yeah. Pip, I love that. You have the Pip Boy. <laughs> it's an Apple Pip. Sorry, continue. Um, <laughs> okay, Apple so, Pip. So. Pip. Oh, I a little more that. information on that door, uh, really quick. As you're kind of looking uh -huh. it in, uh, you realize if you need to actually get through here, it's not going to open like normally. You probably have to cut through it. Oh, it's just like blocked, blocked. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Broke it. Do, yeah, would we have any idea what caused this kind of damage? It seems buckled from the inside. That's so oh. much worse. <laughs> That's wow. horrible. Love that for us. Yeah, bad um, times. Great. Uh, do, you, uh, do you have the cutting torch on you? 
Yeah, I took that with me because why wouldn't you? Exactly. Um, so you could use the cutting torch if you want. Yeah, to. The man's just all flames right now. I, I would say I was so that much or the fire. <laughs> yeah, just all the fire everywhere. Mm. Um, yeah, so Cham will basically like kind of pull the the incinerator off to one side, like on a strap, and kind of rotate it out of the way. Mm-hmm. Pull out the torch. Uh, go like pick it up and start to lean in to do the door, and then. It's, uh, it's strange. Could y'all move back a bit, please? Excuse me. I don't have voice mods set up. This uh, isn't fair. I'm so, I'm doing it for the next one. I'm, yeah. Oh, uh, John, you're going to show me how to do that because that made my little foley. That was oh so my cool. God. Yep. I was, when I'm very quiet and not saying things, I'm scheming. <laughs> I like it. Scheme, scheme more. Scheme, scheme yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you want to give me? Um, I added close to the, the cutting. So give me a uh, heavy machinery roll, please. Great. As you hear, the like, uh... you could see the flames, like the rest of you, as it starts cutting in, but you can't hear it. It's just that weird disconnect of space. Uh, in space, oh, yeah. no one can hear you. Burr. <laughs> in space, no one can All hear right. you go burr. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. That's not oh, bad. Oh, okay. Well. Hey. We're doing pretty good on that. Uh, yep. Just. Uh, I can, I can, I can hear it go burr through the vibration in my hand, and that's about it, really. Um, it's just like muffled through a spacesuit. Um, oh. but then, uh, just yeah. So that's two successes. Awesome. You're able to successfully cut through this. As you... Uh, we're going to switch the... Ah. Is it a success? It is a success. Or would a failure have been better for us in this scenario? <laughs> well... Right. right. This well. pushes the plot forward. As you now end up in the A1, uh, the main airlock, kind of okay. you coming in. Um, All right. So... You I, I'm fortunate today the dynamic lighting is on for this too, and I can't see anything on the screen. You know what? That's. <laughs> Aha! Also, oh! Also, thank you, Roll20, for oh. implementing thank, drug thank mode. Seriously. Yes, yes. Right? Amen to that. Absolutely. Amen. Now, please flick, fix your blades in the dark sheets. Every time you do it, half my text goes away. <laughs> Rip. It's too dark. Too much darkness. Love you. We love you very much. Uh,. Yeah, so I think um, Cham will cut the door open and then just kind of, as they kind of tilt their head and he looks inside and just kind of thinks for a second and sort of turns to the rest and goes, Well, if we wanted air, that's not happening anymore. Yep, that tends to happen when you cut into ships. (laughs) You're able to, um, as you kind of go through, um, with the, with the, you're able to kind of lock the umbilical in, uh, and with it, you're actually able to pressurize it if you would like. Oh, Pressurizing between the chronos, but you needed to make that initial oh. cut first. Yeah, right. that would make sense. That Multiple makes sense fail safes. Sure. Yeah. So you do kind of like you feel the pressure come in as the air returns to the ship. Um, it's it's like coming into. Uh, a ghost ship here it's it's wild you can see there's just kind of um there's a ladder leads down into the main airlock junction that you're in uh you can that head down to the lower decks um but you can kind of extend out onto the level here if you'd like and it just feels you can kind of read the the readings you can find the air there is air in here it's just stale God, it's so big. Incredibly <laughs> sk- stale. Yeah, that, that might be something you say is like you're flicking through the blueprints. Yep. The big ass ship. Yep. Right, well, we've got a lot of ground to cover, so we should pick a thing and start going that way. Well, cryo- cryos are down this way. Did we want to check on people? We do. Have yeah, because they can help us navigate this enormous ship better and faster. So temperature is below freezing, though. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, so well, if we fine. wake They're... them up, they will be. Sad. Oh, they probably yeah. We need to. And um, go ahead and give me a com tech roll, uh, Bry. Okay. okay. Um, tech, no mods. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. One little success. Awesome. Cool. Uh, you hear the message from Mother. I'm detecting a severe damage to scanning. Current status of, U of USCSS Chronos indicates that life support systems are offline. Air scrubbers are offline. Well, Power systems are offline. Well, Mother is currently offline. Artificial gravity is online. Hmm. Why would they only leave gravity in it? Oh, man. Was it shut? And I would be talking to Mother. Do we know if it was shut off or it's broken off? It seems like whatever damaged it, they went and you. Unable to find source of damage. Repairing systems requested. Imminent for salvage. What the hell did they run into out here? I don't know. Um, who's got the motion tracker? Who took? I don't think anyone took that on with them. Uh, well, we you grabbed everything. We just, I guess. We yeah, just you can tally it up. It up, yeah. What's the motion yeah, tracker? I just took all the stuff. So if someone wants to hold I'll take that. the motion tracker. I'll, I'll take it. Beautiful. Wonderful. I got my spooky music on. I'm super spooked already. What yeah. is <laughs> uh, most great. Stressful, most stressful part of the game. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. fine. It only draws the alien towards you every time you use it. There's um, no alien. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's an alien? <laughs> um, yeah, no, he'll he'll pull it out uh, and give it, give it a spin. All right, so you're activating the uh, motion tracker. Yeah, why not? Right. True. Okie dokie, my favorite. I think I gave it. Here we go. The M314 motion tracker. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Let's see if you watch the uh, beep come up. Nothing. Uh, Mother, are we getting any readings on anyone still in cryo? I confirm cryo still activated. Oh, well, that's promising. It's fine. All right, let's um head there and see if we can get the power on. Yeah. I don't think power control is going to be in cryo, so if we're going to do that, I probably better head down to like like support of the engines. Oh, I guess the stairwell is in between cryo, isn't it? Um. Of that be showers. Engine pods, I guess. So I guess you repair. You have your life support systems, the air scrubbers, and the power system. So if you wanted to, um, to go to the, you know, the air scrubbers, you're right by the shaft for that. If you wanted to start on that, uh, you also know that specifically, the um, you would need to go all the way down, uh, probably to the engines and the reactor. Yeah. Okay. There's multiple reactors too, though. Oh yeah, you would need to go. I'm like checking the map here. There's the reactor, the reactor relay control. That one looks promising. And then there's also the reactor core. Uh huh. The core would probably be trying to get back everything back home. Okay. Uh, it looks like the core is just on top of the reactor. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like there's access to it. Yeah, it's just uh, like, it goes to the whole ship. In a little room. Oh, then, okay, so the, the reactor relay control seems like it would be the one. Okay. Uh, I think at this point it's like, get... So, having some... We need someone to be kind of on the bridge to know when things have turned back on. I can head to the comm station. Yeah. I'll head to the cryo and check on the people and get a reconnaissance. Um, Rai, I'll go with you. See if this we can get this thing moving at some point. Yeah. 
Uh, that would certainly make salvage a lot easier. Yeah, I'll start with power and then head over to life support and air scrubbers. Okay, so are you heading to the, the air scrubbers or the closer one? Are you heading to the air scrubbers first or power? Yeah, but like if we don't have power, they're not super useful, right? So like, I'm going to try and get life support on and then backtrack to the air scrubbers and then try to get this thing moving. All right, mm -hmm. so Cham, you're going to air to life uh, to get to the power. Davis yeah. and Rye, you are going to the bridge. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to the comm station, which is near the bridge. Part of the bridge looks like it's part of the bridge. This should end perfectly. Ah! <laughs> Great. There We're all a... splitting up immediately also, an in a horror scenario. At least I have one friend with me. You're not sure. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move just to show where you are all going, or all planning to go. Not necessarily where we end up. Yeah. We just get moved to a map that says hell. <laughs> uh, hell of your own making. Says, the Here, there be Surprise, you. everyone. <laughs> Um, oh, Wilson, boy. you would also know that if you wanted to, you could also go to Mother. Yeah, I was kind of like, so my my idea was like, he's going to go check in the people, yep. see what's going on there. Not open them up, but like, look around for like yeah. any computer shit that might be accessible um, for like, kind of like seeing the rundown of what might have happened recently. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Or notes being sent. I, I, that, no, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. So let's go with let's go with uh eeny meeny miny. Let's go with Davis and Rye first. Yeah, yeah I'm doing I'm doing the cop torch and pistol combo. So how so you are getting <laughs> just to uh so to to get down to there you're taking the stairwell. Yeah, perfectly fine. And then you're taking that all the way down, heading back through. Uh, you see that there is the vestibule for the armory, uh, as well as the junction that is the comms thing. Okay, cool. Okay, but armory, though. <laughs> on the way back. On the oh, way back. All the we'll way back. Armory. Like, they said bring guns. Did they leave any guns for us to <laughs> yeah. uh, bring? They probably didn't. Well, I mean, you never know. Maybe they didn't get to the guns. Oh, boy. I yeah. can already tell this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, nothing. Oh, no. no. Huh? Ah! Oh, no. Great. Um, Wait, no, science. No, we got to no, go, get, no, no. We gotta go get our two whole science. We got our two whole... Yeah, there's two whole science labs. <laughs> that, there's at least two science in there. So as you come down... um. Yeah. You notice that the stairway is fine and everything like that. Everything's going good. Uh, it, but it's got this, like, creepy atmosphere to it. It feels kind of horrifying being in this place. Like, every footstep echoes. The walls have that same kind of exposed metal and wiring that your ship has, that most ship has. Uh, it almost feels like you're in the, like, body of a humongous being that has just been long sleeping. You kind of draw, like, literary parallels, like... Almost like you're Jonah in the whale. Fuck this, man. I hope we get a big check right. for this. This like, sucks. I was excited, and then we got in here, and this is just kind of... That spooky. is how excitement tends to go in this business. So you're heading That's straight fair. to the, the comm station, correct? Just want to double check? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt y'all. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, as you enter into the um, uh, vestibules, you can okay. see coming up, there are two figures standing in the shadow. What the fuck? Swing, swing a flashlight over there? Bolt gun. Uh, you almost get scared for a second. But you don't, because... Oh, those are just EVA suits someone left up. All right. Oh, shit. Hey, EVA suits if we need them, though. Hmm. You're technically wearing them right now. Uh, and then Rye. <laughs> and then Rye. 
You trip over something. What is it? And as you kind of land and swing over, uh, we kind of like get the fast pan over as you see a suit that seems to be splattered with stuff. And then you realize, oh my god, there's a body still in that suit. Jesus! Except that suit oh. does not have a head. Oh! Dang it. <laughs> I see it! <laughs> Uh, Rai gets on comms and goes, uh, but, uh, but we have a body without a head. A body without a head. Repeat, body without a head. Jesus Christ, why are we on this ship? Davis, and you could see that, like, kind of examining as Rai's getting on the uh, comms, that the, the body that you found, uh, you could see there's a splatter of blood and maybe even remnants of what you could consider to be, like, brain matter on the wall behind where the head once oh. was. Oh. Uh, next to this poor soul, whoever it was, you can see a a model three seven a two shotgun. Uh, I'm just gonna pick this up unless you want it, right? I, uh, God, it's, Jesus! It's Christ. still got ammo in it. What but... the fuck happened? I, whatever it is. Hopefully the shotgun helps. <laughs> uh, does it look like the shotgun helped this person? I mean, it still has ammo, so it's... <laughs> apparently they didn't fire enough. Oh my god, your your optimism continues to be... It looks Sorry. very much like a self-inflicted wound, I should say. Uh... Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. Yes, it's because I wasn't sure if that was... Nope. No, it no. wasn't. I thought something no. ripped its head off. Uh, yeah, I was thinking ripped its head off and slammed it into the wall. Your explanation makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Your uh, explanation terrifies me. <laughs> Rye and, uh, Rye, give me a, uh, a medical roll. Yes. Medical aid? Yep. No mods? No mods. Alright, well, shotgun is mine. Well, now. well, well. Uh, I don't know, well, I'm just freaked the fuck I... out. <laughs> I think he's savable. It's fine. Just do some just do some compressions. Mm-hmm. Um, so both time, of, time of death seventy years ago. Get the man a band aid. Jesus Christ! This man has just died. <laughs> this man's dead. Oh wait, that's a good point. If this was seventy years ago, how is there still like a person and blood and not just bones? Because mm. it's really cold. Yeah, it's been that's sealed. Great yeah. Point. Yeah. Uh, shit. you can you can cold. see the only thing that you notice about this body. Uh, something's not right, Rye. As both you and Davis are going to take a stress. Oh. Also, is there an ID tag on this guy? Uh, no. But as you're looking through, as Rye's looking through as well, you do find an audio log. What is it oh. right about the body, though? I want to know. I don't want to know, but I want to know. The arms seem a little bit too long. Like, they're actually stretching the compression suit. Uh, uh, until it's actually torn at the forearms. What the fuck? What the fuck? Looking through, you find the audio log. You free a, a few extra um, bits of ammo that you can load into the shotgun. And this I, audio log, yeah. I don't yeah. like this, guys. On the comms again. Wow. I do not like this. We got we got an audio log. Um, More I importantly, tried... some, something bad happened to this. Like something I'll... bad happened. Yeah, okay. Uh, but like to find something bad though. So so he decided whatever was here was a lot worse than a bullet. To put Did... it bluntly. Does he look damaged in any other way? Is it is it just um, his, oh, arms his arm are too long? Yeah, but we don't know if that happened before or after. His arms. I'm sorry. Are too his long. arms are too long. Yeah, well, <laughs> they're too long, and then they're just gone. Or is the suit ripped off? Is it the suit's ripped off, or the whole arms ripped off? No, no, the arms no, no, are no, still they're... there. It's literally so oh, long okay. that it ripped the compression suit. Oh, um. Well, imagine it looks like... how. <laughs> No, go ahead. Have you ever heard a, sl- you ever heard a Slender Man? 
No, I've never heard of that. No. What? Well, what does that like, mean? It's like his arms look like fettuccine. Imagine how long. long imagine how long your arms. Imagine how long your arms would have to be to rip a compression suit. I, I don't. I don't know. It could. It could be a product of the ship if it if it hit something or maybe some pressure loss. I. I don't know. Do the okay. Bit of a weird question I get to ask today. I guess. Do the arms otherwise look fine? I'm not taking the suit off. Well, yeah, but if it ripped through the suit, then like, is the extended bits those still look like arms? Do they still Do look, they like look like arms, like... Game Mother? <laughs> yeah, very long arms, but they still look like arms. I'm telling you, fettuccine. <laughs> they. They still look like arms. Um, I'm so stumped. That walk. sounds bad. Oof. So the audio log. What are we doing with this? You could play it for everyone over comments. Oh yeah, just want to wanna hear it. Yeah, play it. Mm -hmm. Let's play it. Oh boy. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Oh yeah. Oh oh do we have audio? Yeah, on the watch together. Oh bad. What the fuck? That's not what it's supposed to be. Oh the wrong one. <laughs> llama I, drama. I, I, was, llama I was drama. Curious. <laughs> I was curious because it said llama drama. <laughs> Here you go. I want I want llama drama. Amazing. <laughs> audio log. August twenty second, two one one zero. This is Captain Eric Strauss. The USCSS Kronos. Day one of the Kronos expedition. We entered the 26 Draconis system several solar days ago and have just entered airspace over LV 1113. Dr. Cooper is preparing the research team to touch down in T minus six hours. I don't know why Wayland Yutani sent us halfway across the galaxy to touch down on this rock, but Clayton isn't letting anything slip. Typical company goons. I'm getting too old for this shit. <clears throat> well, um... Sounds about right, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I will not take that as a personal insult. Um... Did he just say... anything it? else around you? Any... <laughs> I mean, look. The, the man said they... Detoured them on something, had them touch down on a rock, said, I'm too old for this shit, and then hung up the phone, figuratively speaking, which tells us solidly nothing. Other than that, people have been feeling like this for 70 years. Oh boy. Well, that tracks. All right, well, we're, we're heading to the comm station, and we're going to see... Well, we know what's up and what's down, but we'll be able to see what goes up as you start fixing stuff. Yeah. And I really hope we don't find any more bodies. Also, there's an armory. Yeah, go to that. Go Stay get a gun, or several. Stay on the mission at hand. These, these people might have been dead for quite some time. Well, then they don't need gun. Jam out. And, then, <laughs> and whatever, whatever killed him might still be here. Uh, as as you get to the bridge now with that out of the way, uh, you can see that the bridge is on uh, pretty much very quickly. The bridge is on battery reserve um, and otherwise sh shut down. You can only see the faint standby illumination that gives off that little like orange glow that you're used to seeing kind of piercing through the darkness. The blast shutters are still lowered, shut tight around the viewports. There's soot on the ceiling, and several stations are actually burned out. Uh, you do see that the command station is still available. Um, it is not powered up. The holograph display station that would have once showed like the ship's hologram um, seems to be had been burnt to a crisp. The sensor station seems to be partially damaged by fire, but not completely. The life support monitors, uh, they're not online currently, but they seem to be uh, well intact. 
And then as you move to the pilot station, uh, what, uh, Rai, one or two? Two. Cool. As you, as, uh, Davis moves to station one, you can see that there, someone's taken an axe to the piloting console. What the fuck? Literally looking, uh, in the, like, literally, like, in the, the console, the axe is still there. Bit. They're not making this job easy for us. I think they deliberately didn't want to make this easy for anyone. Well. Y'all, uh, I don't think this ship's going anywhere anytime soon. Give us the rundown. Um, well, I would ask you a question, but it's in the pilot station. So they mutinied. Um, Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know if it was a mutiny or self-sabotage. Maybe they didn't want this going anywhere. Don't know why, though. I do not like this. I do not like this. I do not like this. Rao, you're muted. I'm not sort of doing any of this. I'm going to try and get life support running so we get if there's anybody in cryo left that we can just bring him on over the Montero and then oopsie we didn't find a science. Goodbye. I mean I want to find a science if there's a science here. Whatever. Why? Do you, why? All right, fine. Then go to the science bay, I guess. I'm going to go try and fix stuff. And then uh just to finish out the description, Rai, you go to station 2. And you see, like, it looks like it's just been turned off. Okay. Uh. Can I turn it on? Not without power. Right. No power. Damn. <laughs> um, Rai, are you better with an axe? No. Okay. You want wait, it? Wet? Maybe, wait, maybe. Am I? <laughs> uh. Oh, they're close combat? No, I'm equally bad at everything. <laughs> I know, I, I love how you just literally, you're looting the, the fucking weapons out of this fight and everything. It's like or a they, game. The they said bring guns. Davis so we has will bring a shotgun, an axe, and a pistol. <laughs> Davis is now a, like, left for dead, like, Last of Us <laughs> character. I am. Yeah. <laughs> one melee, one short, smart, one small range, and one big range. That's how this works. Yeah, we just all know just be careful between Davis laying on the ground and starting to craft, uh, like, the noisemakers and pipe bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Davis, in the armory, there's several needles in a glass jar. Uh... <laughs> My kind of party. Jesus. So we're going to move across a back to Wilson. Okay. Wilson, you go to check on Cryo, you said? Yeah, I'm checking on Cryo and then just kind of like heading to where like, I don't know, kind of like, I guess like the mess hall or like groupie area would be maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly fine. Um, So... Uh, first, I'll give you the cryo. So the main door of the cryo chamber, as you kind of go in, um, something that kind of distresses you at first is that the area has claw marks on it, especially around the edges of the doorway. It's just something was trying to scratch its way in. Uh, the door is locked from the inside, and even to get into it, you would probably need to break through it with the cutting torch. Um, can one of you bring back the cutting torch, please? Or if you find a spare. Um, I do have an access card on me. Does that... I, I'm assuming it won't work with the power off. Uh, Not right now, no. Okay. Okay. You would need to turn Mother's system back on. Is there a window? Uh, that I can kind of yes, into? but it is heavily covered in frost. And you can okay. peer in and you can kind of make out that there are people in the beds. There are people there. Okay. Uh, well, we've got, whether or not they're alive, they, uh, there are people here. Um, I'm gonna make my way lower deck, I guess. Where did you want to check out next, you said? Um, let's see. I don't think necessarily anything here. Um, there's a corporate suite. And the living area. Um, we're definitely gonna head towards that area. I think on the on the map. 
And that is what? Level... It's level B. Like deck B. Okay, onto the... Right lever. next to the stairwell. Yep, go ahead and move yourself there. You got it. And kind of as you're moving on to the uh, stairwell and kind of going down the ladder and everything, mm -hmm. uh, you hear a ping on your motion. Like an electronic ping? On or... your motion tracker. Oh. Okay. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, where does it seem to be coming from? Um, In comparison to my map that I can pull up. Like south. Uh, there might be... Someone here with us. Hello? Uh, you call out and um, you don't hear anything. Is the is the blip still there? It's there for a second and then it just vanishes. Okay. Alright. Chalking that one up to um, meteors. And he'll he'll continue down. And you can kind of feel the um like your mind keeps going to that motion tracker, expecting to hear the blip again as you get closer. And you mm -hmm. never really do, but it does take its toll. I would like you to add plus one stress. Of course. Yep. I'm gonna chalk Correct. that up to meteors. Wilson, no! I... Wilson! <laughs> Wilson! What is going on here? Okay. Okay, carry on. And you're coming to the living area. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna head down this like this right quarter, this corporate suite here. Okay. It's probably also locked, but like that would be where like information is coming into, you know? Yeah, you can kind of look into it. Um, so it looks like it's locked, but it okay. takes a card. Like you specifically know, you're like, all right, I can get myself into you because I'm a whale in Utah. Okay. Right, um, but there's no power. There's no power currently, but you can okay. see that there is a uh, bedroom that almost okay. looks like it's been kind of rubbed. Okay, you can't yeah. Can't really get a uh, a decent in that. Okay, that's fine. We'll head we'll head down to the living area and then. And you're passing through, and you just get this feeling that you're just like. Being followed. Being watched, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Okay. It's fine, though. And, and you get to the living area, and you see uh, the living area is most of it is just, like, um, beds and mm -hmm. other things. Kind of filled to the brim. It looks like there's been a lot of chaos Okay. Uh, okay. What I'm really keeping out an eye out for is like other tablets or like left messages or writing, anything like that. Um, not really looking up for people in particular. Yeah, go ahead and um, why don't you give me observation? Yeah, go ahead and give me an observation. Well, that's that's perfect. Okay. Two successes. And one one stress failure. One I forgot what that means. Oh, it's a one. No, it's not. It's not a one. Okay, that's fine. Oh, the stress is zero. Okay, I see. I see. As long as the stress isn't okay. one, you're good. When it, when it's when it's one, that's when we start panicking. Um, you're you're looking through the crew quarters and all the rooms. Uh, some of them are most of them are locked type. Some have been ransacked. But you get the distinct smell of something kind of rancid. Uh, you, for one way or another, you know the stench is like the stench of something has just died. Like something died in here. Uh, I'm, I'll timidly peek my head around the corner. As you come into one open room, you can hear the. You can see like someone's left some personal items. Uh, but kind of tucked away. You see a partially scorched audio log. Is it playable? Yes. Would you like to play it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. I'm scared, but yeah. You 
ready. Let's. Hold for this shit. Here we go. Audio log. August 23rd, 2110. This is Captain Eric Strauss of the USC SS Kronos. Day two of the Kronos expedition. We've touched down several hours ago and are awaiting the research team to return. LV-1113, it's more interesting than I could expect. Actual oxygen and plant life. I don't see any of the terraforming equipment that usually accompanies the Shaken Bay colonies, which leads me to believe this is a born inhabitable world. I haven't noticed any other wildlife other than the plants. Clayton doesn't seem surprised. Perhaps this is a future colony site. I'll play that through to the rest of the crew and I, I don't understand what he's talking about. There's no planet here. Correct? There's no planet They're nearby? No, not that you know of. Okay. Maybe they left or drifted or something happened on their way away? That's true. We can try and find logs of their, their route. They say it was a terraforming thing, right? That's what it sounded like. Well, they said there wasn't terraforming. Yeah, the equipment wasn't there. Well, yeah, but it was a it was a terraforming yeah, project, but none of that. Yeah, project yeah. was yeah. Hmm. They found plants though. Yeah, the phrase "born inhabitable world" was mentioned, uh, meaning okay. like it as they found it as is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Weird. Okay. And I Very. think with that, we I think it's good we can switch over to Cham. Cham oh boy. Yeah, yay. Cham, where are you going? Can, can we take a very quick like five minute break? Yeah, we that's just got fine. Over at the house, and I'm gonna just prepare food really quick. Yes, yes. So I see yeah. the hour. Okay. okay, everyone, let's take a five minute break. I'm yeah, gonna run I have not eaten yet, so. No worries, and we'll be okay, back thank you so. in just a second, everyone. See you soon.
I mean, so I think if I'm trying to fix the power, I think the reactor core makes the most sense, right? Okay, so you're going to, that's what, the second? That's junction 8-2 and then down here, down by the science, down past the science labs and in the science module. That well, area. no, you don't want that one. You want the lower floor. You want to go. Oh, is there another speaking. lower McLaur floor? Oh, yeah, yeah there's so... section C. Oh. It's on C, yeah. Oh, it's way the, down there. Okay, Because yeah, the yeah, reaction core is completely blocked off. So no, you you're good. Go... I just saw the first two decks yeah. and didn't realize there was two more. No, Give me off. Yeah. So you need to go... Know, wow, you gotta go. Go okay. one more, go to C2, and then you go to the reaction relay control. So put yourself... You're going on a hike. Yeah, put yourself at, at the junction of C1, because you gotta make your way there. Oh, yeah, no, I gotta make... I gotta do a sprint, so we're having the whole time. Uh... Junction C1. Here, I can move you right there if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, yeah, down there. Great. Yeah, just, uh, you're actually going down that stairwell. Yep, some right down, like, there ish. Yeah. Cool. All the catwalks. Uh huh. This is such a horrible idea I've done for myself, but here we go. <laughs> I love that we immediately split the party. <laughs> Look, yeah. everyone knows that horror games are best done when you lean into it. <laughs> yeah. There's no genre savvy here, none. No, there is genre savvy. It's just if you if you would do it, do the inverse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Weaponize your genre savvy and go. The characters aren't genre savvy. Not at all. I, not even remotely. No, I'm going zombie land. I got my axe. I got my shotgun. I'm ready. <laughs> maybe maybe Davis is genre Davis, savvy. Davis is playing a whole different game. Is what's actually <laughs> happening. Davis is playing fucking like. God, what's a what's a what's a gritty survivalist game? I don't know. Pick one. Seven days to die. Starve. Seven days to die. Yeah, Davis is playing Don't Starve. <laughs> oh, like, with guns, I guess. Like, listen, if you try hard enough, I bet you can make a gun in Don't Starve. I think you can. I think there's a mod for it. Um. Anyways, I'm in Junction C1. Yep. Give me one second. I just well uh, the fuck on am the cargo I? Jack. Oh, cool. I get to go across the catwalks, open to deck D so I can get hit and fall. Yeah, this you literally yes. just go all the way down yeah, to just the very bottom. Me. Yep. So this is where the, the main airlock begins at the main airlock and terminates here. Um, yep. You can see at this point, if you wanted to, there's actually an external elevator uh, that if you oh. want, um, that could lower a crew to the surface of a planet. But currently it looks like it's out of the surface of a what now? Of an elevator, or to a planet. Oh, surface of the planet. planet. Yeah, uh, as you pass by the cargo bays, as it were, Okay. Um, you're looking right now uh, yeah. because there does seem to be uh, a decent amount of stuff. There is, because the, the car, the, um, you can see like in the, in the viewport windows. Yeah. Uh, there seems to be, like in the st oh sorry not the cargo base in the storage units if you were to check uh, those out yeah, really quick gonna... yep uh giant drums you count seven across all of the six areas uh-huh uh looks oh. to be they're just sealed up okay i hate that that's where um, the people went are they labeled that's mm, that's horrible. Mm -mm, none of that. Uh, are they labeled in any way or? Uh, it says Quintal Tricetaline. Do I know what that is? 
Mm, not really. It sounds like some sort of chemical. You, not that you can think of off the bat, but that makes sense. That's some weird shit. Oh okay, yeah, that's some that's some stuff that I don't understand. Okay. One of the one of the storage units is just completely locked, and you can't see. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. And another, you see a a find place of tools. So two bolt guns, a cutting torch, and a maintenance jack have been kind of left behind. Cool. I am absolutely taking that with me. Take. Okay. So these things are kind of big. We. we so you're, yeah, yeah. I'm you're, gonna take whatever I can take with me. I'd like to take. Well, I don't think you can carry another cutting torch. You have another. Because you already have like two big weapons on like things on you. So I have the cutting torch and the incinerator. That's what yeah. I'll say so. if you want, you can take the maintenance jack. Yeah, I'll take the jack. Sure. Yeah, I don't think you can carry another um, cutting torch or any of the. Yeah, bolt that's guns. fine. And then I'll be like, uh. Uh, well, so this is Chan. Did you mention something about needing another torch? Uh, yeah, the cryo chamber is completely locked. I, I can't get into it. Oh, all right. Um, cargo deck C down in the storage right by junction C1. There's a, a jet. There's a cutting torch and a couple other tools if you want to grab those and head on the back up. Yeah, thanks. Um, and he'll head that way. Okay. Are you going to wait for Wilson to get down or are you going to continue? Nope, I'm going to keep going because cool. fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'd be fine by himself anyway. Him. Yeah. Uh, as you're passing by, uh -huh. you see that, like, as you're coming to where the catwalk is, yeah. on the side of one of the walls, uh, -huh. uh, you see what looks to be, like, some sort of fungus that is growing. Like here? Oh. Like, yeah. no, like right here. Oh. Right. I gotta ping it some. Yeah, you're good. Oh, so, like, right over here? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Uh, um. Anything about this fungus look weird or something? It, you're not sure exactly what it is. It almost like is circular, kind of looking like eggs, except they have like an open hole to them. But like they're eggs, like as in like, like this, like this big. Hmm. Okay. This is fine. I hate that. Um, yeah, this is Chan again. Anybody uh, see any weird mold on the ship? Because uh, I, I found one. No. Uh-uh. Not up here. Great. Um, I take samples when I get there with the med kit. Okay, I was going to suggest burning it, but that's fine. <laughs> and you can kind of see as you're, like, walking by it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you nudge it or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to poke it with the end of the incinerator, I guess. <laughs> you can, like, uh, eh. you can see that there is, um, almost like little, like, dust, like, like spores kind of coming from the fungus that start to float up. They hover in front of your helmet for a second before continuing their ascent. Actually, uh, Wilson, any objections if I just burn this now? I, I would prefer that we take... We'll wait wait for the crew. How about that? Compromise? Fine. And I will continue going. You reach the cargo bay. Or you pass the cargo bay, sorry. Yeah. You see the cargo bays, you see one is filled with uh, food storages that are relatively untouched, and you see the another one has empty, uh, pretty empty except for AV tires. RV tires, oh. I should say. Alright, good to know. Um, can I see, like, that cargo office from here? Because it's kind of like an open space, right? Like over Yeah. The, uh... Okay. And there's, like, it's it's just like the the chains hanging kind of when you look at the cargo office you can see this is where the cranes probably is um and you can see Got kind you. of down below uh, -huh. uh where there would be like vehicles and stuff like that in like the actual deck like in the garage. yeah yeah sure uh the um question uh it says so <laughs> i'm trying to read this map and also read the key um so it says 
above table, it says there's an access terminal in the cargo office. Can I see that from where I am, or is that like hidden behind a panel or something? No, you can see that from there, from here. All right, cool. Um, in that case, just uh, I'm gonna. Hey, uh, Rai. Yeah. Yeah, there's another access terminal down for cargo down here. Maybe if you wanna come down here with Wilson and check that out, you can get a read on what they were carrying and why the hell we're here. Sure, it'd be nice to know something more specific than science. You would know that uh, you would need power to come back on, though, to check oh, all this. Okay. And I think at this time, yeah, uh, yeah. Wilson, if you want to move your token to the Junction C, uh, as because I'm assuming that Cham's been kind of investigating everything, that he, this gives you enough time to get downstairs. Okay. Would it be Junction C2, I think? C. Junction. Uh, C1. So the upper one. You can't. Oh, there's use... B1 and B2, actually. Yeah, I think yeah. it would be closer to. I mean, I... oh, no. I, I will go to we'll go to C1 because I think it would just come back from either. where I came from. Yeah, it's, it's no. up to you. Yeah. That works. Okay. Um, And you can hear someone descending the stairs, Cham. Well, isn't that you? Yep. Just yell back down. The... Great. I'm moving on. I'm going to keep heading down the catwalk to the uh, the reactor relay controls where I'm aiming. And then Lai, uh, Rai, you're going down there as well. Davis, are you staying? Uh, yeah, I'll stay. Staying by yourself. Okie dokie. I mean, Rai, do you want me to go with you? Again, I have three different weapons if you need something. I'm going to say... Give me the shotgun. Okay, you can have the shotgun. All right. You can stay here. All right, I will stay here with the axe that was already here, so it gets to stay here too. Cool, I get to edit that in, so we're going to get rid of it off of Davis, and we're going to give it to Rob. Ooh. At some point, I should probably try and grab that axe, because close combat is my best thing. <laughs> in terms of the shooty punch fight. So as you're getting on past the coolant tanks, um, I think everyone would be able to see it. I'm just going to say move everyone to the catwalk. Yeah. As you're sure. all kind of gathering, um, except for Davis, who's still chilling up there. Yep. yep. Uh, you I know the cooling die. tanks are, are there to kind of help the engines from reloading. Yep, yep. Um, not something you want to go. And as you kind of get the only lighting as you kind of get down to the reactor relay control is the light from the... It goes that dull, pale blue. Okay. All right. Uh, you can see coming in there, there is a crumbled up spacesuit. There seems to be uh, some sort of fighting that kind of came on here. Inside the con inside the control? Yeah, but you or... can't open it, actually. Oh, cool. That's a shame. Oh, look, it's torch time. Flame on. <laughs> it's gonna torch the door open. Like you need a little no song for that, you know? Yeah. Guess what, Nick? It's torch time. <laughs> and as you're about to take the torch yep. to the door, mm -hmm. you hear. Good morning, Captain Johns. Current date is December 13th, 2183. As the power begins to turn back on. Wait, who turned it back on? Did we do that on purpose? As oh, wait, he didn't get to the control, did he? Nope, I'm not there yet. I'm outside the door. I'm just like... Uh, uh. Ah! Okay! <laughs> who the fuck turned that back on? As the reactor begins to roar to life, and so does the life support systems. We should leave. Uh, no, I, I saw I saw someone on the radar earlier. They, There must be someone still here. Hello? How Light, would they be alive? Lights begin to flash, and... A cold, the cold and darkness uh, begins to give way as the vapor of warm uh, air begins filling the corridors. You hear the, Davis, specifically, you hear, or actually, Wilson hear the grating of the air scrubbers activating, uh, but no fresh air comes through. Here's as, a question. Yes. Do we know that androids exist? Yeah. 
I mean, it's pretty common to have an Android on your... I mean, you don't because this ship's kind of poor, but um, the Kronos might have. Right, okay. I mean, the theoretically, it should yeah. be the synth on board. That makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's... Maybe it's an Android. What did y'all do? I, I, I saw someone on the radar. We didn't do anything, Davis. The power's that back on. That worries me. <laughs> yeah, well, all I'm saying... Well, I didn't touch anything, so... Okay, well, why don't we just do what we came here to do, then, since now everything's on. I don't have to fucking walk all the way down here for fucking... And then Chandra starts grumbling into the comms <laughs> as they make their way back towards the group. Hey, keep it... Keep the comms full of clutter. I mean, free of clutter. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to the, the, uh... uh the blowtorch that he had said where I would find it. Mm -hmm. Then pick that up and head back. Hey, uh, Davis. Yeah. Oh, no. Can oh, I'm you, not here. Where am I? Can you give me an uh, observation? Um. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Two success. <laughs> Davis, can you give me an observation? No! <laughs> please. Please, not, not now. Not after what happened. Two successes. You observe your death on swift wings. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta roll. Oh no. Oh no! Also, I would have been in station two, because station one has an X mark in it. So I'd be trying to turn stuff on, and I'd be like, what was that? Oh god. Uh -huh. How many successes did you roll? Two. Okay. I hate that question. I hate that question so much. I needed three, didn't I? Uh yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> roll me roll me a D6. A D6? Oh, no. Alright. Just a regular old D6? Roll me a D6. Yeah, you could you could right. six. <laughs> but is that good or bad? I don't know. John, this is like when you make people roll deeper scents just out of oh, the blue. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 oh. You died. Casualty died. number one. Die. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. I'm going to get a new character next week. Uh, so, oh, you, boy. let's, I, I got to roll. Uh, yeah, give me a second. What roll is, for trauma. Please pause. Roll for murder. I have to roll. This is great. The, roll, you roll, roll the axe. Just hide murder. under the dead body. It's back. The problem is it's back here somewhere. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah, you're out. You're in a different room. Oh, you have no. a, do you have any armor? Um, <laughs> no. I got a, I got a pistol. <laughs> Pretend you're a statue. Just just T-pose. Don't move, move and it won't <laughs> T-pose to assert dominance. <laughs> All right, Wait, is, that a, is that a thing with Alien? Can they not see you? No, no, that is that is definitely yeah. not a thing. That could That's no, the T-Rex. That's the T-Rex, not an Alien. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, Aliens are much no. better hunters than T-Rexes. All right. Brandon. Yeah. Uh, I get so, stabbed in the back? I am so sorry. <laughs> are you? You feel oh, something attached, brought up, and before you could turn, you feel something pierce you from behind. As you Ow. look down, and you see a razor sharp tail now wagging and extending from your chest, uh, blood has spattered onto the console. It has done the base damage of only one. However, if the attack causes damage, it automatically triggers critical injury. Number. Oh. Which. Uh. <laughs> I assume is death. Panel 66, Impaled Heart. Your heart beats oh. for the last time. Uh, I'll, I'll let you have one action before you go down. I Do will... It. Well, can, okay. Is talking a free action? You could say a sentence <laughs> as you... I assume, do you look back? I'm gonna look back and just say into the comms, run. <laughs> oh! No, you have to give us more information than that! <laughs> no, you do not! Do the <laughs> thing! <laughs> I'm gonna send something to you, uh, specifically oh, no. just you. Oh, oh God. no. Stop it. Stop that. Um, Stop. This is... The creepy alien he sees. Uh-huh. 
as I, I would tell you what it is, but because you died straight out, I think it's just more fun. Just if I just see it. Yeah, just to show you. Yeah. Good. Uh, because I think this thing that's fucking wild. I, lo I love this. It literally rolled the absolute, like, like you uh, rolled the... Like, chat, oh. I want to be very clear to you who is watching this. I fucking love this. <laughs> <laughs> we all came into this knowing we were going to theoretically die. That's what you say. Theoretically die? I, I'm just shocked that I wasn't the first one to die. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You, like, oh. you, like, it's like it happened. You're like, oh, I, oh, I don't that. like that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What is so like? Because I imagine what was like your what were you trying to do while this happened? You were just I like, was like, I was just like, oh, power's on. Let me start turning things on so maybe we can move the ship and once like we get it undocked. Yeah, you hear maybe I can just move the and then you hear like a coughing, like that breath being taken out of you. Um, and then uh, you hear like that gagging for a second, like you're choking on your own blood. As the spike comes out, you look down for a second, you look back. You see what did it, and you just say run in your comms before you flatline. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh fuck. Goodbye, uh. Fuck. Fuckity fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> we should fuck, not fuck be here. Fuck, Why fuck. are we here? Why are we here? Why are we here? I'm very happy to be the catalyst for this panic. <laughs> Good. Uh... Yeah, I think Rye would. I think Rai would uh, look at Wilson and go, "Why are we here? Why? Why are we here?" I. I don't. He just said, "Run." That doesn't mean anything. Other than run. What? What do you oh, mean? Wait, it so hold mean on. Anything? Sorry, just rewind because I want to double check and make sure what I understood what the heck is going on. So, uh, Brandon only gets I, that one. I thought you were gonna do uh, a thing and then say run while doing a thing. Wasn't there a thing you were trying to do at the top of that? I forget. Uh. Well, I was. I don't. So like because I was in the middle of doing something, I don't yeah. feel like it's appropriate. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't. I just, I just uh, didn't know you if you had a yeah. thing you wanted. I will. I will wrong? say. I think I would. I I think I was exactly how you described. I was yeah. on comms, being like, "Oh, Good. well, since power's on, I guess I could try to get it moving." And then they just hear, oh, <clears throat> and then look back, run. <clears throat> <laughs> Fuck. Great. Okay. Perfect. Why are we you. here? Wilson, why are we, we have, here? We have people on this ship that we have to help. Can't help if we're dead. Who, who, all right, who's got a gun? I have a shotgun. Oh, <laughs> you left all the weapons. <laughs> they David has a pistol and an axe upstairs. Great. Beautiful. All right, well. <laughs> so we've got a gun upstairs. We've got a shotgun here. Okay. I have a bolt gun. I have a bolt gun, too. Wilson, you got a harpoon, right? Great. Okay, so let's, uh... So, having passed on my way down through here, is there, is there like, a place that's gonna be a place where we could, like, hold up and fortify real quick while we wait to see if anything is moving around? Uh, down here. It, it'd be tough, because a lot of stuff is locked. Technically, the cargo office, but you would definitely be, like... Like, that. that's, like, a last stand there. You would be keeping... Uh, you know the cryo chambers probably would be a little bit better as you can actually hear mother going um warning cryo chambers deactivated yeah i'm not worried about that wait like de um, like like deactivated dead or deactivated like, like they're, they're waking opening up or releasing okay so we need right. to go we need to go get them let's go check on uh fucking okay um davis <laughs> okay we so we're on, on the davis. other side of the room oh by the way everyone's stress goes up by one you know, yeah. That checks out. Yeah, make my sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think mine up. does. No, Davis is not. <laughs> Davis no, yours, is, yours is maxed out at a solid 10 um, right now, buddy. So, <laughs> yeah. question. Uh, in that case, Champ no is going anymore. to book it across the catwalk and be like, anyways, we are, we're done with science now, right? We can, we can just get on with this. Yeah. Yeah. Wilson, am I done with science? Let's get to the crew. See what's going on. Okay. Uh, and then Sham is so Sham is going to book it across the cat uh, against the, uh, against the catwalk. Uh, come back to the weird mold fungus nonsense. Set that shit on fire, and then book and then grab and then get sh and shepherd everyone back towards Junction C two because that takes us up and in towards the cryo bay without being near the front of the ship. Chan just killed the only thing that kills the alien. Confirmed. Mm-hmm. 
the moth, the, the, the fungus was the way. No, I don't know. Okay. I have literally no idea. Wait, you're burning the place as you're going? If, yeah, I'm just, I'm setting the fungus on fire. Okay. Booking it back down the catwalk and getting up to junction C2 is the plan with everybody so we can not be near the front of the ship. I hope the fungus wasn't what kills the alien. Me too. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mysteries have the fun. So where are you heading to? Uh, so back towards uh, Junction C2, which is near the bottom of Deck C. You're going to uh, back towards that reactor core. We're going. I'm going to take that back up into Junction A2, which to the cryo the examination room, and then need to cryo from the back. Yeah, awesome. that's the idea. Same. And yeah. I'm following. Because uh, if whatever made Davis sound like they conveniently lost a lung is in the front of the <laughs> ship, I'd like to be in the opposite side. That's you know. Fair. <laughs> and, Do you uh, get to like be a ghost friend that helps us like a ghost, like on a like in Among Us? I don't think we're gonna reveal this as quote. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. So you get to the examination room. Um, yeah. It's a mess. There are two med kits in here though. Oh, there you go. That's and I take them. Nice. And then you enter into cryo. As the doors open up and you can see that the life support systems uh, have been, are finally coming online. The sleeping crew of the Kronos are all nestled in their beds as it opens up. As As you hear this, you can see a few of them have emaciated corpses. They did not survive the cryo sleep. But for a majority of it, uh, you can see there are a few alive. One, two, three, five people that wake up and are like kind of vomiting from the long exposure to Hyper Street. You know, they're holding their head, disorientation. One person's complaining about headaches right away as you kind of enter into this area. Muted. Muted. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, hello. We're, we're from the, the Montero. We heard your distress call. You've been in cryo sleep for 73 years. May, maybe not lead with that. Uh, I'm, I'm not in a place to make good decisions right now. <laughs> what? Anyways, uh, more importantly, something oh. is uh, potentially ganked one of the crew members of our ship now that it's on your ship. And so we should leave. We should get out of here. It's what we should be doing. Oh my god. That's one of them. The, an older man. What? We've been rescued? Ah! Uh, yes? No. More or less. <laughs> three, three completely different answers right up. Uh, as you see a gentleman with uh, kind of an old, like, wizened beard kind of deal. Uh, another one that seems to be a little scruffy, but probably in his mid-40s. Um, a kind of, like, a Latino gentleman that, um, short-cut hair, a little mustache, uh, dressed and looks like nurse gear as well. Uh, a uh, hardened um, woman, darker skin, uh, very close cut hair uh, ultimate badass looking here seems to be some sort of military and then finally a woman short crop blonde hair uh, in a kind of like looking official in a suit so, yeah anyway we should go yeah the woman looks like what what, what happened Where that's what we came here to find out we don't know Reluctantly it, came here. It uh, seems like someone can any of you fly a ship. ship? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can. Um, Captain Johns. Great, I awesome. Because our pilot's that. dead. So, um, we don't know that for sure. We don't know that for sure. Okay, well, our pilot sure. is, was gasping and sounded incapacitated. And so there was like should. a death rattle in that whole thing. And. 
Uh, also, there was one of your crew members on the bridge, super, super dead with extra long arms. I don't know if you know anything about that. What do you... Oh my god, my head hurts so much. Um, Dr. Cooper, at your service, um, the... Great. Marine-type woman introduces herself as Reed, the medic introduces himself as Flynn, and then the uh, woman, the just says Clayton. <laughs> you need to be... Wait a minute. John says he's like, you, you got on the ship? Yeah, yeah. we're on... Yeah. As you realize your air supply is running very low at this point. Yeah. Let's time to let's go. But are you time still to the, get uh you see they're obviously breathing though and not in suits? Well yeah, we we have the oxygen chambers on, don't yeah. we? Mm -hmm. So like we we already knew that we turned the power on. Like I I feel like No, Wilson would keep a suit on. I'll I'll tentatively unzip mine and be like take it take it right you, there. You 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 all need to get inoculated. Oh I know. Yeah. I know, Brandon. <laughs> in inoculated? You, you, there's, there's the disease on the ship, and Doctor Cooper here, and Doctor Cooper still holding his head. Please, it's. Oh my God, I'm having a migraine. God damn it. Yeah. You need Great. inoculation. A disease ship. Great. Okay. Fantastic. Is, is it just, uh, uh Captain Johnson's? It's just you three. Well, we uh, had another. Four, there is another. We, he, he should be. She should still be. Attempting to pilot the ship. Our our <laughs> our captain got sick, and a few of our other crew got sick, and they they just and uh, you hear Doctor Cooper's like, "Will you please all shut up?" His head's about to explode. That team looks, mm -hmm. and um, who's the nearest to the doctor? You think who's been talking to everyone? Is it Wilson? Yeah, Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I feel like I like I he, I would have like acted as like an envoy kind of thing. So yeah, and yeah. Cooper grabs onto you, Wilson. I I don't think I'm feeling so well. All right, let's get let's get you to a seat. No, no, no. And, and he's he's starting to he grabs your other hand and he's starting to coma convulse as you look at blood is now seeping out. I would like to ears. plant a boot solidly in his chest and kick him back. Okay, uh, you can easily do that. As you can see, as he kind of falls yep. over, and the colonial woman of Marine kind of gets gets in your face, and is like, "What the fuck do you think you're doing?" And like everyone's like, uh, "John's like, calm down, calm down." We're all looking and like Wilson's pulling his hood back over. It's a big yeah, thing. Jam is Jam is looking Ryan's past on the, the other side of the, the room, pressed against the wall. <laughs> If if they said there was a disease and the doc is convulsing and they're all concerned about me creating space between a, my crew and theirs, mm -mm, nah, -uh, fuck you. And so like, Cham is just looking past the marine at the doc. Like, are you gonna disease? Is that what's happening right now? Bloody are eyes. Are you gonna disease? Roll over white as the scientist oh, no. convulses and rives against the wall. As you and your crew. As you and your crew can only watch as the rest of the crew hold Cooper down, trying to stop him. You notice the for a second, John looks at like, do any of you try to hold like help Cooper? Or are you all just watching? No, no, absolutely not. No. You notice for a second the crew tries to go to grab Cooper to hold him down, and then John's like looks at them and they take a step back, and they take a step behind you back, like. Oh, I'm against the wall. They can't get behind me. <laughs> Cooper is flailing about at everything and everyone that he can, and he tries to crawl towards you. Uh, oh! Mm -mm, nope. And then you uh, hear something oh. that you wish you didn't, as you hear a sickening pop and a bloody splash. What? As an eyeball flies across the room from his face. I hate that. And into Wilson's face against the visor. What? Before <laughs> bouncing across the floor, running under a cryo tube. My God, I put Please. my shield up. Jesus! I was about to say that. <laughs> you try yeah. to process, Wilson, what the hell you're seeing, and the rest of you, as a slender, gore-covered hand arm pushes its way out of Cooper's empty eye socket. I'm gonna raise my harpoon gun and shoot him. 
Yeah, fire. Fire sounds good right about now. Like, just aim oh. for the head. Just harpoon gun through yep. the head. Yeah, just go ahead and roll me a uh, ranged combat. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> and if you miss, I'm going to shotgun him. There you go. And then if you uh, miss, I'm going to flamethrower it. Spinning <laughs> <We got laughs> white got finger got yanks his teeth back. Cooper does not scream. Ah! Oh, what oh, is no. that? Oh, <laughs> Oh, you failed the stress die. Oh, no. Oh, it's panic time. Okay. You're going oh, to panic, panic time. Oh, so, that, that makes a lot of sense time. for Wilson. Great. That makes a lot of sense. So please oh, roll no. me a panic thing as I'm going to continue That absolutely tracks. Uh, I'd love this for you. No, no, no. That's just the. Uh, oh, there should be. Do a I roll button. it? Yeah, there should be a button that just says panic. Oh, there's on it. this panic. Oh, yeah, I see. It's under the roll buttons. Okay. Eight. Eight. Awesome. Okay. That is great. Is that good? Isn't that bad? I don't know. It's a table. No, it had to be like above six. It, it, it's oh, above a seven, oh, 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 oh. so it's it's one above a seven. Got okay, we're okay, well, but not that bad. It could be worse. It's could it? I mean, <laughs> it's the max you could have rolled with your current stress. Uh, yeah. so yeah. You shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nervous twitch. Your stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs in the short range of you increases by one. Great, oh. that's the worst. Oh, Every, just sorry, everybody. Guys. Everybody around you increases by oh. one. As you fire the harpoon and you lose the shot as it goes uh, into it goes into the doctor, but doesn't hit the creature. Um, Jesus Christ! I'd like to shoot him. I mean, it's technically one and the same at this point. But... It's clear that he isn't in his head anymore. Something else is, and it wants out. Flesh tears and tendons snap as the thing inside his splintering skull pulls his face open right out of his jawline. Ah! It's Ooh. like a Finally, a thick gurgling wells up inside Cooper. Oh, okay. I thought it was talking, and I was very oh, concerned. Too. I was no. like, "What is this shit? What's this? What's this? What's this fresh hell?" <laughs> but um, Cooper, as his head is ripped from his body, his neck gushing as whatever was inside him pops to the floor in a burst of blood. What? What? You levy, Rye. You levy your shotgun as, as you hear someone go, "Kill it! Kill it now!" Give me a ranged combat roll. Oh boy! <laughs> I can't wait. Dear God, you lost. have to make it. You have to make it. You lost your pilot and your best shot. Yep. Yeah, we did. We lost all of the gun. Ah! Oh, that's oh, not no. good. That's the not shot good. goes <laughs> wild. Like, <laughs> as the thing, as it gets, it stands on all four wobbly <laughs> fawn-like legs, shaking brain matter from its spiky head. As you all miss right. the shot. The creature looks towards you, crouches, and skids past you. Like out the door? Yep. Fuck. <laughs> I guess we live in this room now. <laughs> uh, if it does that, I close the door behind it and then turn what's left of the doc's body into shish kebab. Because not fucking with that. Mm -mm, nope. And it's time to really okay. It's time to reveal one more surprise. Oh no! I hate this. As you hear a squelch come, as something squelch. heavy is brought down, and you hear the cries of the creature. From where? Where? Emerging wait, from wait, the background. Wait, heavy is brought down like a like a stomp or? Wait, wait, I'm no, confused. like something it, heavy and sharp. Wait, as so you, it went out the door. The creature went out the door. And something got it. As okay. you hear walking towards you, uh -huh. you see a familiar face holding the axe. You see one Pilot Davis. So I, Clutching I, I a wound in the middle of the chest oh where their heart should be, except instead of leaking blood red, you see a milky white has stained across their chest. Oh! Uh-huh. You're an alibum now. No? No. That's a synthetic. No. Wait, what? An android. <gasps> <gasps> Holy shit! Wait, were you always an android? Yep. Robot friend! Oh. Yay! I'm so excited. We still have our pilot. We still have our brand. As oh my god. That is where we'll end Act One. We're gonna do about. Fuck uh, yeah. We're not. We're gonna do like 10, oh. 15 minutes of Act Two, and then we can end it there. But I want to get a little bit into Act Two, uh, mainly because yeah. I want to get over 
this uh, fun part. You don't want to end us on a high note. <laughs> no, you want to end us on a miserable note. <laughs> I want to specifically... Oh man, I wish I'd have known we were gonna end the act there because I could have used my talent. Oh. Actually, you know what? I think we'll end. We can end the episode actually right there on Act One. I think I, that I actually... think that's, that's, like that's really that, solid. Yeah, that's a really good ending. Yeah, I'm gonna rescind that, but I am gonna go over people's agendas really quick just so people no, can sure. see that. Um, oh, for sure. We're not gonna reveal people's agendas, but I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna say uh, if you if I think you them. So starting with yeah, uh, Cham sure yeah i think the way you exhibited yourself you did that quite fine you can get a story point yay and story points don't go away they stack they roll over i'm trying to scoot out what everybody's has depending on whether they succeeded or not oh that's always um mm -hmm. man i'm gonna say for good old davis i'm gonna say you don't get your story point because of that yeah. last line Literally the last two you seconds could say. is you what could, screwed me. You could say it um, if you want to. So, so the last God, line. Yeah, the last line is don't reveal that you're a robot. <laughs> no. Well, it's good. So, it's well, yeah. Oops. Whatever you do, don't expose yourself as an android. Uh, I mean, okay, hold on though. So I feel like I don't. I don't think I get your it. body. There's no way like we wouldn't have seen that at that point, right? Well, it's like. But you yeah. would have I mean, found I guess a body. You could have like put a jacket on. Maybe I mean, if you had found a jacket, you, know you would have been fine. But you know like, what? You I'll, I'll give you the story point. You're right. You're the, your friends yeah, have convinced well, me. You're... I'm, I, I'm I thrilled that our it. pun droid is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm kept glad the, I'm the pun droid. Who programmed the puns into this? I, yeah. I legitimately <laughs> forgot you were an android for the longest. Like when you got killed, I was oh, like, I was... oh you're dead. And I was like, wait a minute. Oh, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna let you do it until we came back and like they had made it to the bridge and I was playing a different character, mm. and I was just gonna be like, oh yeah, uh, my character's not there because they were an android. <laughs> right. Good. Incredible. Uh, Rye, like... I think you get your story point. Yes. Story point. Wait, so should we have one story two. point now? Two. Two. two now. Oh, okay. Cool. You start. You start the act with one. Nice. And then let's go to. Wilson. Yeah, definitely. In a story. Yeah, I was going to say, I better have gotten that. <laughs> I bet Wilson's was follow dope. directions from the company. That's wild. That was that that was a wild way to uh. uh Do the, we have different uh, objectives each act? Oh yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, so, and okay. I'll I'll share that with you at the end of this uh. Mine were very mild. Like mine was very obviously. Just follow yeah. orders. Follow good directions. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much. I hope everyone had fun and had a great yeah. time. I mean, I guess since we've shared them, I'll just share mine too. That's fine. Be do mine was really easy. Do your duty and help your fellow crewmates as best you can, which was like, Aww. are you all dying? We are stopping that. Let's go. Yeah. yeah you guys, you guys all have these like wholesome, wholesome I'll, agendas. I'll say, don't reveal your agendas if you can't, if you, if you don't have yeah. to, just because. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I, oh. I will say, I only said one sentence of my agenda. Yeah. Really? What did you say? Uh, I Whatever you do, don't expose yourself as an android. Mm -hmm. Oh, there yeah, no, yeah. That. I have details yeah. in my agenda that was that were yeah. there, but... Mine um, was one sentence, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be a good guy. Be a good person. Be nice. Uh, but so. I, I hope everyone enjoyed either their first or secondary exposure to Alien the RPG. We still yeah. got a, uh, another episode left before we wrap this up. But I think this was a great setup, and we can go yeah. hightailing it into the action. Um, and we'll be live. I've yeah. never played this myself, but I've actually seen this run, so this is this is quite interesting to see how differently it's gone. Oh in yeah. Brief moment I've seen it. <laughs> so uh, I would just like my pass to um, plug their stuff and tell you where they can find you because they're awesome. Where you can find them because they're awesome people. Sure. Uh, so I'm. Brandon, aka Ashenworks, you can find me everywhere on the internet at Ashenworks and stuff on Twitter, where it's Ashen underscore works because some college student has that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I make tabletop RPG content over on DM's Guild, and I'm working on expanding into some other games, Slate Blades in the Dark. I also am a co-founder for Huntsman's Hydra, which, much like Gehenna, is another uh, tabletop actual play channel. Um, and we have some cool stuff coming up, uh, hopefully end of this month early next month we have a blades in the dark game 
and a Swords of the Serpentine game coming up. So check those out over on our Twitch channel. Uh, I'm Tori. You can find me on every single social media as that nerd Tori. Uh, pretty descriptive. Um, I'm a baby to this whole scene because I'm being slowly coaxed like a scared animal into the TTRPG scene by my lovely partner, Ryomasa. Um, but you can find me on Twitch, hopefully regularly soon, uh, as I get my OBS. I was doing it more regularly, and then there was the whole mess with slobs versus obs oh, so i yeah. uninstalled slobs and then i was like wait i don't know how obs works so i'm working on it um and hopefully in the next couple of days actually i should be able to be streaming again and i do a lot of wholesome games not like this yeah. <laughs> now for something like completely Stardew different Valley in there yeah uh, I'm Adelaide. You can find me at oh Adelaide on Twitter and everywhere else. I am in Tabletop. I'm also the social media manager for esports.gg. If you like esports, it's fun. Um, I'm currently in Forge Academy, which is a podcast that read us every Friday. Super awesome. I think we're at like our maximum downloads per month, like this month, which is really great. Um, yeah, we're like we found out that we're like in like the top fifteen percent of all podcasts worldwide. That's so yeah. awesome. Like every Wild. podcast, hey. yeah, mind blowing, mind blowing. Um, and I am also uh, in Negative Two Charisma's show, A Sinner's Dream, where I play cute little vampire girl, super fun. Um, and that's all that I've got going on for me right now. So, uh, also Tori, you did fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, thank you. You're great, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, and then Rio Masa. Hello, I am Rimasa. You can find me over on Twitter at RY0MASA because much like Brandon, some 30-year-old Japanese salaryman who hasn't posted <laughs> since 2011 has my name. Yep. I'm going to get that <laughs> fucking shit back eventually. Um, <laughs> but uh, you can also uh, find me over on uh, soon, uh, actually with Nick for a show uh, on Devil's Luck Gaming called Trinity Sins of the Past, where we are playing uh, Trinity Adventure and Trinity Assassin. Uh, we're playing those two games back to back in a consecutive timeline. We look hot on um, it. Huh? We look hot yeah, on we, it. Yeah, we do. So um, hot, I can attest. I've seen. <laughs> I've seen behind the scenes. You're slightly biased, though. Um, no. But uh, every, every, uh, everybody in that game looks great. It's a, a lot of fun. Um, and then also, you can find me uh, again. You'll find me here for the next episode of this uh, next oh, yeah. week. This one, you know, yeah, the, that one. Um, but also, I am a uh, table, I am a TTRPG streamer, performer, GM, and also a uh, drama therapy researcher looking into the therapeutic uses of tabletop RPGs in uh, the therapy context. So we've actually oh, just Carolyn um, did. Yeah. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I do. That's that's me. And last but not least, I assume. Oh, hey, that's me. Hey everyone, yeah. I'm your game mother today. Uh, I'm Nick Francia. You can find me at Nobleman Nick on Twitter. I also post on Instagram occasionally, but that's more of my personal stuff. But follow me anyway there. Uh, other stuff you can find me on. Well, you'll find me next Saturday here playing Chariot of the Gods. But if you go over to Caring Comfort Studios, you can also find me every Friday doing Kingdom Hearts, the Interstitial War, and Layer. Uh, by the time this airs, we'll be having, I think, like one, eight more episodes left. So it's gonna get wild. Yeah. There's a crap ton of guest stars uh, about to be set up, uh, and it's gonna be amazing. So definitely, this is one you don't want to miss. Um, other than that, I'm also on Trinity Sins of the Past, where you can find me uh, playing Assassin and Adventure. We look amazing in it. It was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to show you. As well as, I don't know, you might find me on some other stuff in the future. Those. I gotta get you at my table again. Yeah, so. definitely for sure. I gotta. I have that Care Bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that thing we all do. We're all like, we're on these things, and then something else we can't tell you. Yeah, any of it literally, like, yeah. Yeah. Yet. But there's a lot of stuff. Trust us. I didn't mention mine. I have a thing too, but I can't talk about it. There is like a, a huge project I just want to burst at the seams and talk about, but it's such an mm -hmm. infancy that I'm not allowed to say shit yet. Uh, That's but, the worst, best feeling. I I just want to say thank you to my players, like. This was a very unique run of Chariot of the Gods so far, and I'm loving it. Thank you for uh, just bringing a lot of fun and hype to it. It's, it's like, at the end of the day, you know, it's a conversation between the GM and the players, and if, if one side's lacking, it, you know, it, you could feel all around. So I appreciate you bringing the energy. Keep it high over here. Uh, and special thanks to Rule 20 and Free League for uh, providing us with the codes as well as some other fun goodies to give away. Uh, it's been very easy just to like have all the events and everything on the screen 
uh, divvy out the items and the character sheets and agendas. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, but also check out our other sponsors of Die Hard Dice 1985 Game Session Zero. Die Hard Dice for all your dice needs. If you need uh, dice, if you need coffers, if you need uh, certain accessories of TTRPG, you know, we all like those little physical bits and goods that we can touch. Uh, definitely check them out there, as well as Session Zero with some awesome clothing options. I have a TTA shirt that is waiting for me. Excited because I love long sleeve shirts. Uh, other than that, check us out on Gehenna. Uh, we have a few more episodes, I believe, of Blues Beard's Bride, uh, Heritage Horror, uh, coming up soon. Two? Yeah, which two or, is... Two or three? Two or three. I believe it's going to be three that's going to be coming up next. Um, I'm, I'm planning to sit down and watch the VOD of those two yeah, episodes. Yeah, those are yeah. great stuff. And just, uh, there we go. Thank you to my players, because uh, I got my first round picks, and I'm very happy. Uh -huh. So Thank you! <laughs> that's it, and we'll see you next week, everyone. Leaving you with a cursed thought that makes Nick our game mommy. Peace, we're out. <laughs> oh no.